51 to 39. Upset brewing at the break. Western Kentucky on top of number 15, West Virginia, 36 to 33. They're in the first half, and Florida International leads Flagler 28 to 23. Eight minutes left in the first, and Incarnate Word is leading Rice 24 to 21. Earlier today, East Tennessee State knocks off Middle Tennessee 57 to 43. Uh, 43. Later today, we have uh, Texas Permian Basin is taking on UTSA. Arkansas State is at Marshall. UT Arlington is at Louisiana Tech in top 25 action currently. Second half action, number eight, Illinois leads Ohio 58-53. Kansas, number six, Kansas is on top of St. Joseph's 39-30. to Number 14, Texas Tech leading 30-6 to over Sam Houston State early in the first. And then the big upset of the day that Matt mentioned in our last segment, number four, Virginia goes down 61 to 60 against San Francisco. Bouye for San Francisco had 19 points to knock off the number four Virginia Cavaliers. Also, number one Gonzaga blows out Auburn 90 to 67. Again, our game, East Carolina taking on Charlotte here from the IMG Studios. And we'll send it back to Matt after this. You're listening to Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. It's bow time. <laughs> So it's game time, and you got a bunch of rabid fans. Dad, we're hungry. You head out to fire up burgers and dogs and go from grill master to MVP, but you're at a GAS. Drop a big bow box on it. Game on. Feed a family of four with eight pieces of chicken, biscuits, fixings, and tea for just $19.99. And rep your squad with an official Carolina Panthers big bow box. It's bow time. <laughs> At Great Clips, we want you to feel good about getting a great haircut. That's why we created the Great Care Promise, our commitment to keeping everyone as safe as possible in the salon. From contactless online check-in and social distancing to rigorous sanitization and mask requirements at all Great Clips locations, we're doing more to keep our salons clean and comfortable. Check in online and get a ready next text when you're next. Great Clips, it's going to be great. All salons are independently owned and operated. Contact your local salon for specific safety measures. The biggest school. Grabs in traffic, comes down with a touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Ohio State, Oregon, LSU. The biggest moment. It's complete. It's complete. It's complete. Touchdown, Gators. Oh, my. This is the college football rewind. That had to be a great game to watch. I'll tell you, unbelievable. Download on Sunday mornings on Apple Podcasts. Search college sports now. Got my nachos, got my big TV, and my favorite chair. It's game time. But you know, the only thing that would make it a little better is if I could listen to my local broadcasters while watching the game. Oh, hello. You must have wished for your game to be synced with TV and radio. I sure did. Do you have a DVR? You bet. Do you have a streaming device? Yeah. Blammo. Your game is now synced. It's that easy. Oh, boy. To see if you can get synced, head to SyncMyGame.com from Learfield IMG College. SyncMyGame.com? SyncMyGame.com. And welcome back on the pregame show brought to you by Atrium Health back inside Halton Arena. That's where I Trevor Wilt with you. And the uh, the arena's been kind of retrofitted for this COVID-19 pandemic that we're all battling our way through right now. The Niners, for the folks that have been here many times and watched the 49ers play, have moved their bench this season. And now we are on, if we're looking at the floor from the broadcast side, away from the benches, it is on our left side. Uh, that used to be the visitor's bench. That's now the Niners bench for the entire 2020-21 campaign. Whether or not it's that way going forward after the season, we don't know. But it is for this year. Uh, reason being, they don't want the players to cross each other on the floor um, when they don't have to. So the Niners are on that side. We are directly across uh, from the Niners bench. We're also elevated in the stands, different uh, petitions and tables uh, scattered about 12 feet apart in the stands. I'm at one table. Trevor's way to my left. I see him over there. I uh, don't need, you know, smoke signals, but I can, I can, I can see him from over there. And uh, it's okay. Got to keep him away from me. And it, it, it's really nice how they've set this up, Trev. Um, all the, the new logos, the new floor. They just finished the um, arena scoreboard. 
just this past Monday with the, the new underneath uh, panel and the, the C logo up on the, the big uh, uh, top of it where it says Halton Arena. It looks really nice. Oh, this, I mean, this looks state of the art, guys. And I love, I mean, of course, I don't love the fact that all the chairs are separated and, and the bench looks ginormous, but it does give you that Conference USA feel and heck, even almost having uh, not too many uh, people in the crowd right now. <laughs> that, that Conference USA feel uh, as we play down there uh, in, in, in Texas. But I know it's it's different, but I, I mean, I, I kind of like the, the way that everything's kind of set out. Of course, they're trying to, to limit all the everyone just being around each other when they don't have to be of course uh, with the 10 guys on the court but it's a it's a cool little atmosphere and of course i'm just really excited uh, to see this court it's my first time really seeing the court in person like i said video board it looks phenomenal uh, mike hill uh, chris fuller and the rest of the the 49er athletic staff uh, and department they're doing uh, phenomenal things uh, here in charlotte north carolina so let's get to the keys to a Niners win here today, brought to us by Harris Teeter, where Niner fans shop for grocers. What do you got, Trev? Yeah, I think one easy key to the game to go ahead and pick out is a quick trap to Jane Garner. Of course, it's it, it's no secret what the Charlotte 49ers do on defense. And Ron Sanchez said that in the only practice we got to see them uh, practice uh, over the summer just the other day. He said, guys, it's no secret. Whenever they put pass the ball down to the post, we go and trap. Everyone knows we're going to do it, but we're just going to be better at executing it than they are whenever they are trying to get out of that trap. Jane Garner, again, one of the best players in the nation statistically, especially in the American Conference. He was the American Conference Player of the Year. Definitely guy to look out for in that trap down low. Have to be quick to trap him. If you're not, he's going to be able to make some really quick moves, easy buckets, and easy passes as well. Very high IQ type player uh, down in the low post. Also, another key to the game for the Niners, just slow the game down. I know I like to talk fast. I know I don't know if my really likes to talk fast just yet. He's kind of a vet over there, but slow the game down. It's easy to get antsy and to let the, the game, the speed of the game kind of get to you at that collegiate level. The Niners have nine underclassmen. You have to be able to relax, play your game, and again, like Ron Sanchez was saying in practice the other day, guys, we're young. We know we're kind of inexperienced. We do have some guys that are here to be veterans as sophomores and juniors, but we have to be able to slow the game down, play our offense, and play our defense as well. Injury update brought to you by Ortho Carolina. Ortho Carolina, you improved. And uh, for the Niners right now, just one true injury. That's Luka Vosic, who had his second knee injury last season. Um, ACL surgery. He's still working his way back from that. They hope to get him at some point this season, but he will not be available at least in the month of December. So that's your injury update brought to you by Ortho Carolina. We'll come back after this break and hear from Niner head coach Ron Sanchez as the Niners today take on the Pirates of East Carolina. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG, IMG College. When you need a new bike or office chair, even a water filter, you go on Line and look for the best. So of course you'd be willing to search high and low for something much more important, like the best health care. But what if you didn't have to? What if there was an award-winning health system close to home? Well, there is. Atrium Health, the only health system in the region nationally ranked by U.S. News and World Report. When it comes to the best for your health, the choice is clear. Learn more at atriumhealth.org slash best. Carolina personalized orthopedic care goes beyond my appointment. Accessible, comprehensive, and compassionate. It's my care, my way. Schedule your appointment today at orthocarolina.com. Charlotte Basketball is sponsored by Progressive. Drivers who stay with Progressive save over $750 on average. Can you get pizza, bread twists, specialty chicken, and more for just five ninety nine eight? Is it at Domino's? He hands off, hand toss pizza and a marble cookie brownie. He's going, going, going! There's a lot of variety on the radio and at Domino's too, where you can. Mix and match two or more. Five ninety nine Two item minimum. Pan pizza, bone and wings, and bread bowls will be extra. Ask for the limited time offer. Prices, participation, delivery area, and charges may vary. It's back, the return of the prestigious Learfield IMG College Directors' Cup, honoring college sports excellence across all competitive divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow along with...
with L Directors Cup on Twitter or online to see which schools will be taking home a first place trophy in June for their season-long success. Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, a premier institutional award jointly launched in 1993 by USA Today and NACTA. is just around the corner. Let's get the final word from 49ers head coach, Ron Sanchez. Brought to you by Bo Jangles. It's Bo time. Here with the coach is Matt Swearat. Well, the uh, long-anticipated day has arrived. The Niners are going to play bas basketball this afternoon, taking on the Pirates of East Carolina, joined by head coach Ron Sanchez. And coach, it, it's been almost 10 months since we've last played uh, a college basketball game that involved the 49ers. So uh, today's fun. This is going to be great that the guys are you know, kind of chomping at the bit. They want to play somebody other than just practicing against themselves. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, no, definitely. I think they're tired of hearing me, um, you know, uh, bark instructions and run drills. I think they're ready to see, you know, another jersey. Obviously, we're disappointed with the fact that we couldn't play um, VCU and Tennessee uh, prior um, to this uh, contest today. Um, but at the same time, the guys are still really, really excited just to just to get on the floor and, and compete. A lot of new faces again for this team in, in 2021, but the returners, the key group right now, you know, Shep, Young, Milo Supica, those are three really good guys to have back. Oh, definitely. You know, um, and uh, Shep had a phenomenal, you know, campaign for us last year. Obviously, Jimmy did as well, being, you know, the, the rookie of the year in our league. And Milo has, has just been trending in the right direction. His his growth, you know, even in the off season, just from a maturity standpoint, has been great. To have those three by those three guys anchoring, you know, what we're starting to to, to do this season um, for me is definitely encouraging. Milo's now in his third year in your system. He just mentioned how he's the growth. Um, I've heard from others, you know, during practice, he has been so steady, um, has just done everything you wanted him to do, and, and he has ability to be a really good basketball player, so grasping the system, this could be exciting to watch him play. Oh, definitely. I think now he's playing, you know, thinking less, more just anticipating and, and reacting. And when you get to that point, I think the game slows down for you. And, um, you know, he knows that he's going to be a pivotal part of what we're doing. So he's no longer kind of looking over his shoulder and then playing with a lot more confidence. How's Bryce Williams doing? Uh, of course, a freshman last year, had a good summer. What, what's his uh, situation like right now? Yeah, you know, Bryce is another one that has um, improved, um, you know, over the the last 10 months. Um, you know, his, his his few minutes that he played last season, you know, in every game, obviously are, are experiences that he can tap into so that he can apply that to, you know, his continued growth. And um, I think those experiences that he had are part of the reason um, why he is improving. How about the rotation off the bench here today? Who are some of the guys we'll see early in the game? You know, Caleb Stone, obviously. Um, you know, Jackson Treadgill and um, Anzac for sure. You know, those three guys will be um, in there. And obviously we got Jerry Garcia as well. You know, we, we're not as deep as we would want to be, you know, not as healthy as we want to be to start the season right now. But, you know, I think those nine guys will be the, the primary uh, minute uh, guys this, this game today. You mentioned, you know, today would have been uh, a day at home because we would have played Tennessee and VCU. Mm -hmm. um, how, how is it to prepare for a team like East Carolina? Such short notice. Um, it's their first game as well. So they've got some new players in the mix. Uh, you know, talk about the preparation for this game. Yeah, you know, East Carolina, they, they return a lot, of the, a lot of guys from last season. You know, having played them a year ago, um, you know, makes it easier to, uh, to to scout and so on. But, you know, at the same time, man, I could sit here and talk about all the things that um, that, that are going to make this, this a challenge. But, you know, we decided to focus on all the good things. You know, we're just happy to be on the floor. We're excited that East Carolina agreed, you know, to come play uh, in our facility on short notice as well. And um, I think we're all just, you know, what just, we just want to lay some up, you know, and get out there and sweat and compete and, um, and enjoy it.
I know you've been busy with your team and, and the prep for this game, Coach, but have you had a chance to enjoy just watching some college basketball, too, this last two or three days? Yeah, we did. You know, we actually had a couple of guys over, you know, at our house last night for, for Thanksgiving dinner. We had a couple of TVs running different games, and, um, you know, all these guys that have friends that play, to, that play at other programs, and, um, you know, the juices were flowing. We were talking about this guy, that guy, that game, this game, and, um, you know, obviously Western Kentucky playing so well against Memphis. And we, you know, we had a lot of things to talk about, so it was a, it was an enjoyable day. Um, you know, we did that after we had a really good practice, um, you know, yesterday morning. So, um, like I said before, honestly, we're all just happy that college basketball season is here. We're thankful that our administration and so many people have worked so hard to, you know, put us in a position to, to compete. You know, um, our venue looks different, but it looks awesome. I think the guys, you know, have done a great job, the facility guys and Cass and all those guys have done a great job of you know, making it a, a very safe uh, place to play. And um, with all the obstacles at hand, they have, you know, um, they have really, really answered the call to give us an opportunity. And we are very thankful, you know, to, to all the people here in the department. Coach, thanks so much. Good luck today. Uh, thank you. That's head coach Ron Sanchez back with the game. The Niners in East Carolina coming up. This is Charlotte basketball from Learfield IMG College. Domino's week-long carry-out deal means you can carry out three topping pizzas for $7.99 each every day. That's right, $7.99 each, and every day means any day. But just in case there's any confusion, we've set up a helpful website to confirm if today's a day you can carry out three topping pizzas for $7.99 each at Domino's. Just go to HowAboutToday.com to find out if Domino's week-long carry-out deal is valid today. Spoiler alert, it is. Carry-out only. You must ask for this limited-time offer. Prices, participation, and charges may vary. Excludes extra-large and specialty pizzas. Crust availability varies by size. 49er fans, for more than two decades, the doctors and staff at University Eye Associates have provided professional care to the Charlotte 49ers. University Eye delivers quality eye care on and off the court. University Eye Associates helps me see the game better, and they will be delighted to help you too. Visit them online at universityeye.net. You and University Eye Associates, that's a slam dunk. Start with a foundation of toughness, then add exceptional intelligence and dominating power. That's how you build a winner, and that's how Ford builds their lineup of vehicles with features like EcoBoost technology for a winning combination of power and performance. Another reason why Ford is America's best-selling brand 10 years in a row. Leaders aren't born, they're built. And in the Carolinas, they're built for victory. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. Based on 2010 through 2019 California sales. At Great Clips, we want you to feel good about getting a great haircut. That's why we created the Great Care Promise, our commitment to keeping everyone as safe as possible in the salon. From contactless online check-in and social distancing to rigorous sanitization and mask requirements at all Great Clips locations, we're doing more to keep our salons clean and comfortable. Check in online and get a ready next text when you're next. Great Clips, it's going to be great. All salons are independently owned and operated. Contact your local salon for specific safety measures. This is the gold standard for who? Five super good side. Boy, that down back to Shep. He's open. Three ball on the way. Good. Gives it to Shepard. He'll drive to the rim. He throws it down. Shepard driving to the bucket. Floating shot. Good. Takes the shot. It's good. A three-pointer. How about that? That block. Milos gets it back. Puts it off. And he scores. Got straight away three. Got it. Shepard deep three on the way. Good. On the Charlotte Sports Network. From Learfield IMG College. Welcome to live play-by-play -play coverage of 49ers basketball. Charlotte basketball is brought to you by Ortho Carolina. You improve. Atrium Health. The best for the Carolinas. Great clips. It's going to be great. Carolina Ford Dealer. Ford is built for the Carolinas. See your Carolina Ford Dealer. Proud partner of 49er Athletics. Harris Teeter. Where 49er fans shop for groceries. Now, here's the voice of the 49ers. Matt Suarez. 
once again. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Niner basketball here inside Halton Arena. The Niners open up the season today against the uh, Pirates of East Carolina. Matt Swarad with Trevor Wilt, and back in the studio is Mario Washington. Before we go any further, let's pause 10 seconds for a station ID. You're listening to Niner basketball from Learfield IMG College. These are your teams, and this is your town. 7.30's a game. ESPN Charlotte. WZGB Craverton. Well, back inside Halton, the Niners coming off a 16-win season a year ago. They were 10-8 and 8 in Conference USA, and had they played in the conference tournament, they would have been the fourth seed and uh, had a first-round bye, which is why we didn't actually play at all in Frisco, Texas last season. East Carolina, 11-20 and 20 a year ago, 5-13 and 13 in the AAC. Preseason, they're picked ninth out of 11 teams in the American Athletic Conference. The preseason and poll by the coaches in Conference USA. The Niners, number six in the preseason. Again, finished uh, the regular season last year as the number four team. This is the 28th meeting all time between Charlotte and East Carolina. The Niners have an 18-9 series lead and a 10-2 advantage in games played here in the Queen City. We'll take our last break. Anthem coming up. We'll come back starting lineups, and we'll tip it off. The Niners and Pirates coming up. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. Start with a foundation of toughness. Then add exceptional intelligence and dominating power. That's how you build a winner. And that's how Ford builds their lineup of vehicles with features like EcoBoost technology for a winning combination of power and performance. Another reason why Ford is America's best-selling brand 10 years in a row. Leaders aren't born, they're built. And in the Carolinas, they're built for victory. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. Based on 2010 through 2019. Welcome back inside Halton Arena, just a few moments away from tipping off the 2020-21 Niner basketball season. Let's uh, jump to the starting lineups right now, and we'll start with the Pirates of East Carolina. Head coach Joe Dooley, sixth year overall as the head coach at East Carolina, uh, but he was with them earlier, left, and then came back, and since he's been back since 2018, he's gone 21 and 41. Overall, in his uh, tenure with the Pirates, 78 wins, 9 93 losses. Here are the five starters. Their leading scorer, Jaden Gardner, who's a 6'7 junior from Wake Forest, North Carolina. 19.7 points a year ago and a team high 9.2 rebounds a game as well. A 6'5 sophomore from El Paso, Texas, Tristan Newton. He's the point guard, 11 points, 4.5 rebounds a game a year ago. 6'6 sophomore from Powder Springs, Georgia, Brandon Suggs, 8.3 and 3.4 last season. A 6'7 senior from Garysburg, North Carolina, J.J. Miles, 7.5 points a year ago, 2.7 rebounds a game. He made a team-best 49 three-pointers last season. And the final 
starter in the middle, seven footer redshirt junior from Guadalupe. It is Lugie Debeau, 1.3 points, 2.0 rebounds a game last season for the Pirates. Now for the 49ers, head coach Ron Sanchez now in his third season. And uh, Coach Sanchez, 24 and 32 overall as the Niners head coach. And in league play, he's gone 15 and 21 in Conference USA games. Here are the starters today for the Niners. And the one newcomer that is in the starting lineup is a 6'5 graduate senior. Out of Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, Jerry Matos. He played a year ago at the University of Dayton. Starting in the middle of 6'9", senior from Belgrade to Serbia, Milo Supica. At 5.5 points and 3.8 rebounds a game a year ago, shot well over 60% from the floor last season. A 6'7", sophomore from Huntersville, North Carolina, and the son of the all-time leading scorer in Niner history. Of course, that is... Uh, Williams. It is Bryce Williams, and Bryce last season, the Hopewell High School graduate, had 2.3 points a game, 1.5 rebounds a game. The uh, point guard, a 6'4 redshirt senior from Asheville, a transfer from Oklahoma, Jordan Shepard, and uh, he and both Jameer Young getting preseason accolades in Conference USA uh, this preseason. 6'4 redshirt senior again last season, 14 points, lead the team, 3.2 rebounds a game. And the final starter, is uh, a 6'2 sophomore from Hyattsville, Maryland, Jameer Young. He was tremendous in his freshman season. Shot 37% from three, 12 and a half points a game, 5.2 rebounds a game. And they're looking for big things this season from Jameer in his uh, sophomore campaign. We are ready to go. Uh, Trev, the Niners wearing their new white home uniforms with the CLT on the front. East Carolina Road Purples trimmed in gold. And uh, let's play some college basketball. Let's get after Matt Jersey's looking good. And here's the tip. We're underway. And the tip is controlled by the Pirates. The road team with it first going from right to left on the floor here at Halton Arena. To the left side, it goes to J.J. Miles, guarded by Shepard. Niners in a man-to-man. -man. They swing it now to the right side. With it is Newton. Back to the left, here's a drive by Miles. Gets low, and he finishes off the glass. It's 2-0 East Carolina. And that was a really good pick on that low block there from DeBoe as he was able to scoot his guy out of the way and create a wide-open lane uh, right there for the Pirates. Now Milos out high with the ball. Left side gives it up to Shep on the wing. Gets a screen from Milos. He'll attack and kick it out to Williams. Bryce for three, and it's no good. Long rebound is all the way out to Jameer Young and a reset. Actually, the ball never hit the rim, so no reset of the shot clock. Seven to shoot. Jameer gets it back out to Bryce. He'll pump fake, get inside the arc, shoot, and it's around the rim. No good. Rebound, East Carolina. Still love those two shots right there from Bryce Williams. Both wide open, but again, got to go ahead and get those shakes out of the way. Now Newton looking for the big man inside, throws it over the head of DeBoe, the seven-footer, and it goes out of bounds and back over to the 49ers. And that's the offense right there, the ECU that they want to run. They want to be able to push the pace, get it down the low block, and not allow the Charlotte 49ers to be able to double-team. Again, get that post trap. Everyone knows the Charlotte 49ers are going to do it. ECU knows they're going to do it. Dooley knows they're going to do it. Everyone knows. The referees even know it. It's just executing that and being able to be able to be so perfect at those little details. Well, off the inbounds, full court man to man by the Pirates, but Niners able to get it up the floor rather easily. Matos with it now to Jameer on the right. He'll shoot for the first time this season. A three, it's no good. Rebound batted around. Bryce trying to keep control of it. It's on the floor. It's out of bounds, and it's off Bryce Williams. But great hustle right there by Bryce. Almost able to grab that rebound. So still 2 nothing East Carolina. Pirates get it back. 18-43 to go in this opening half. Yeah, it's kind of easy right now for the Charlotte 49ers, or even for ECU, to settle for those open threes. You're going to get that from the defense. Early on in the ball game, first game of the season, they're going to give you that. You can't exactly take that open shot, even if it is wide open. Out top, Miles has a shot partially blocked by Shepard. Williams has it. Now to Matos, up the left side, pulls up in transition, and makes the jump shot. That'll tie the game of two. First basket for Jerry Matos this year. There we go. And the first for the Charlotte 49ers. Love to see that. And there's an offensive foul, it looks like. Yeah, the big guy in the middle. 
DeBoe getting tangled up with Matos. And DeBoe picks up his first first in the Pirates. Niners get the ball back. Tie game at two. Yeah, and you can already see the length and the athleticism for ECU. It's paying dividends for them. Even whenever the Niners are almost getting that offensive rebound, it's just slightly going ECU's way. But love to see again Jerry Matos able to get in the scoring early here for the Niners. And look for the offense. They're kind of run through Jameer Young, the freshman of the year in Conference USA. Chef on the left inside the arc, skips it across the floor. Matos open for three, and he buries it. The triple from Matos. He has all five. The Niners have a 5-2 to two lead. Yeah, three ball corner pocket right there. Beautiful look from Jordan Shepard. Again, the top assist man for the Niners this past season. Love to see all five points already from the transfer. Gardner's first put uh, touch today. He'll flip it across the floor, left corner to Miles. Here's a dribble drive ball stripped away by Shep and recovered by East Carolina and a foul on the 49ers. Brandon Suggs able to recover the loose ball. And going after that loose ball, there was a bump. A couple of Niners with the bump. Who was the one? It was Shepard call for the foul. And it looks like the Niners, they've been able to fill the gap so far. Really nothing uh, too open other than whenever DeBoe came down and set that screen for the first bucket. But love that they're not having a lot of penetration right now for ECU. Miles on the right, gets it back out top to Newton. Newton with the basketball, gets a screen, picks the dribble up, comes left to Suggs. He'll pull up on a three over Williams. It's off the rim, no good. Rebound in the hands of the Niners, Jameer Young. He'll bring it up ahead across the timeline. Right hand, a bounce out top. Top of the key, inside the arc, drive into the basket, floating shot off the glass, no good. Rebound, Supica back up left hand, he scores! And the Niners have a 7-2 advantage. Yeah, beautiful offensive rebound there. Love the drive, though. That's what set it up, of course, for Milo Supico was that drive from Jameer Young, able to get in and high percentage shot. And Gardner falls away on the right side of the lane over Matos. First bucket for Gardner, who averaged just under 20 a game a year ago. And it's now 7-4, to four, Charlotte. And that was one of our keys to the game. You have to be able to trap him early as soon as he catches it. It wasn't there. He'll take that one-on-one -on -one any day of the week, Matt. Young to Williams out top, one dribble and a handoff. Matos back to Jameer. Jameer back to Matos out top, straight away deep three off the iron, no good. Rebound, East Carolina. Suggs bringing it up ahead. Near side across the timeline, goes right now to Newton, now to Miles, and a foul on the floor as Gardner was posting up. And it's going to be on the 49ers, Bryce Williams. And I like the early trap right there from Milo Supikos. Actually talking with one of the refs right now about it. He's saying, hey, you can't wrap that arm. You can't be able to do that little swim move. And he was trying to go down and post Garner down low. And uh, already love the intensity there we've seen from Milo Supico, who had a, apparently a great offseason. A couple of uh, subs in the game now for East Carolina. Tremont Robinson White is one of them. Suggs top of the, well, inside the top of the key. Jump shot is good. He banked it in. It was between the foul line and the top of the circle. And it's now a 7-6 game, Niners by one. Also in the game is Charles Coleman, a seven-footer from Boston. One of a couple of seven-footers on this East Carolina roster. Jameer Young out top. Now to Matos, left side. Supica posting up, left block with it. He's had Coleman on him. He'll back him down. Step move, nice shot. Off the glass, no good, but a foul. A little up and under, drop step move by Milo Supica. And he'll go to the free throw line, but first a timeout on the floor here at Halton Arena. 15.46 to play here in the opening half. First game of the season, and the Fort Niners with the early lead over East Carolina 7-6. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. At Ortho Carolina, my personalized orthopedic care feels like home because video visits bring my provider to me. Ortho Carolina, my care, my way. Schedule your in-person or virtual appointment today at orthocarolina.com. Teeter shoppers, it's easy to save on fuel with Harris Teeter's new Fuel Points program. Just use your VIC card every time you shop and you'll earn one fuel point for every dollar you spend on participating items. For every 100 fuel points you earn, you can save 10 cents per gallon on fuel purchases at any Harris Teeter fuel center and participating BP or Amico location. The more fuel points you earn, the more you can save. Up to one dollar per gallon. Terms and conditions apply. Visit HarrisTeeter.com to learn more. My Harris Teeter. On College Sports Now. I, I, I do stay in Elvis, but there's a huge rift. If you're getting, like, the Louisiana Hayride Elvis, that's a lot different than, like, Jungle Room Elvis. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> like when RCA had to bring the recording studio to him, you don't want that. Follow College Sports Now on Twitter, at CSNowTweet. Subscribe to the podcast on your favorite app, like TuneIn, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or Spotify. Back inside Halton. Arena, the Niners on top 7 6 early here in the first half. And some free throws coming for Milo Supica. Nice up and under move. Drew the uh, foul on uh, Coleman, his first personal foul. And that's what, you know, Milos has been doing really well in camp this year. Uh, his inside presence for the Niners a year ago at times was was just, uh, you know, tremendous. When he when he picks up the offense and he's, he's running it the way Coach Sanchez wants him to, he can be a really good player in this league in Conference USA. And he's had that kind of camp where every single day it's been just the consistency of his game. And that's been the biggest difference, just being consistent day in and day out. If he can continue doing that throughout the season as he makes the first free throw, that's going to be a huge lift for this team. Yeah, I think it's been a huge, Matt. And, and, of course, I think it definitely helps whenever you bring in a couple other big seniors. You bring in Jared Garcia. You bring in Ali Khalifa. Again, right now, Ali uh, and not really um, eligible due to transfer credits from coming from Egypt, but high IQ guy. I think it's actually helping out Milo Supica, the veteran for the Charlotte 49ers, in the paint. Yeah, they hope to get Khalifa eligible maybe in the second semester if things all go well. Newton, left corner with the ball for East Carolina. They skip it across the floor. Now on the right side, it's Knocked away by Bryce Williams out of the hands of Suggs. Uh, good defense by Bryce on the wing. 15-26 to go. Niners by three. 9-6 here in the first half. And it's going to be Tremont Robinson-White to throw it in bounds. Outside that Niner bench. Gets it out top to Suggs. Now goes to Newton on the left. Shot clock at five. Suggs picks his dribble up. Leans into a shot, and he's able to score, getting around Shepard. That was such good defense, Matt, for about 27 seconds. And then Shep, he even went up. He didn't even have both feet come off the ground, stayed put. But then he just let him get bodied up like that. And Sanchez, look, he goes, don't let him do that to you. Just body him up, too. That's why we lift weights during the offseason. Williams out top of the ball, guarded by Gardner. A couple of dribbles towards the right side. Now gives it up to Shepard. Shep on the wing, driving to the bucket. Up and under, and he scores off the glass. He drove by Robinson. And white and the Niners have a three-point lead and that's what Shepard does he shows the athleticism and the reason why he transferred to be able to get the ball in his hand from Oklahoma here to Charlotte Newton gives it up on the baseline Coleman goes strong missed everything the seven-footer throws an air ball from under the bucket and the Niners have the rebound Williams gets it to Shepard up the right side with the ball picked up now by Newton left-handed dribble the free throw line bounce pass to Supik in the lane stripped away going up but he's fouled and some free throws coming great pocket pass right there by Jordan Shepard and Milo Supik has really good hands, and now two free throws coming for the big guy. And, and Matt, I love the way that J Jordan Shepard, he's playing very majestic, very slow right now. He's just trying to pick his, tr trying to pick the, uh, the right gaps uh, to pass that ball. It's beautiful inside pass there to Milo Supica, and he's had a few of those already here today. Milos to the line, shooting two, and he makes the first one. So he's three for three at the free throw line. You know, a year ago, he was 64%, which is not bad. It was a big improvement from the year before. If he can get up in the 70s, between 70 and 80, he's going to get a lot of free throws this year. Oh, he definitely will, Matt. And the good, the thing is about the thing about it is he can. We've seen him during practice. The guys see him shoot, and I'm not saying he's lights out. He's not going to shoot 85, 90%. He has a beautiful form for a center. There's no reason why he should not be shooting shooting in the 70, 75, to even the 80 percent percentile. Well, he makes them both 13-8 now. The Niners on top of East Carolina. A couple of uh, subs in for the first time. Jackson Threadgill's in the game, and Caleb Stone Carowell in the game for the first time. Now Gardner baseline left. Size advantage over to Young. Over Young. Niners playing a little zone right now. Back out to Gardner. He's going to drive right, get low, off the glass, and he scores. And with still good defense there by the Charlotte 49ers. Didn't slide over the gap just in time. I believe that might have been uh, Stone Carewell or even Milo Supica. Just a little late on that little pick, but still good defense there by the Niners. Just a better play there from a better player, Jaden Gardner. Now Shep down the lane, up and in with his right hand. He just went and saw a seam and attacked it with his first step. Great quickness. Niners up 15-10. Jackson, out top it goes now. Miles with it. He throws it away. Good defense by Young denying the pass. Robinson White near that Niner bench. 
I, I wonder, too, you know, if the depth perception is going to give players a little uh, difficulty on those wing passes because the seats are so far pushed back, and you look at the plexiglass, and it does give a little depth perception issue. Oh, it's huge. Whenever you're shooting in an open gym, and I like to do that before and after these games, and I've shot in some packed gyms before, uh, it's, it's absolutely huge, especially whenever you're going for those three-point shots and the free throws. Stone Carwell, 14 to shoot, gives it to Shepard, gets it back down the right corner. Back out to Shep. Puts it on the floor, but staying with him was Tyree Jackson. Trying to drive by Jackson again. Jackson picks his pocket. Niners in transition, get a steal right back as Jameer Young able, is able to get his left hand in the passing lane. Niners have it. Shep, right side for three. High arcing three ball. Good! Shepard's really been working on shooting in the offseason, especially the three-point shot, and uh, he knocks his first one down here today. Niners have a eight-point lead at, eight, at uh, 18 to 10. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to be a 30-second timeout, and you love to see that from Jordan Shepard. Again, he's playing so smooth and so slow right now, but on, on that possession before, you saw that they were trying to get a little too cute. They were getting a little too cute. No one was really moving uh, whenever they went small. Whenever you're small, you think you have a lot more running ability, but right there, Shepard, love to see the aggressive, aggressiveness in him already. Seven points for him. Supica's already got six. Matos has five, and of course, love to see Stone Carewell and Jack and Threadgill, and heck, now even Anzac Rosetto being able to get in the ball game and show what they can really do and, and, and show why what's happening right now in, the, in Charlotte and in Halton Arena is that Ron Sanchez is, is creating such a deep uh, and, and compact team right now, and a, lo a lot of it's from Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, Jameer Young back in the game now for the 49ers. It's Young, Threadgill, Stone Carrowell, Williams, and Shepard on the floor for the Niners. Gardner, he'll give it up on the right side to Robinson White. Now to the right, here's a three ball on the way. No good. It was missed by Baruti, who just came in the game. But Samba Baruti, who's a 6'7 senior from the Republic of Congo. Niners up 8, 18 to 10. 12 and a half to go in the first half here at Halton. Here's a drive by Jameer. Reverse layup, no good, but he was fouled hit through the lane and he lost his balance on the shot the uh, foul is going to be on Baruti his first and of course yeah you love to see Jameer Young being aggressive he has done that a couple times today he hasn't been able to finish on both of his attempts uh, of course fouled on that second one right there but can love to see the aggressiveness for the Conference USA freshman of the year Left-hander, first free throw is good, his first point of the season. Niners doing a good job getting to the foul line so far, and they're a perfect five for five at the line. Last season, a 75% shooter at the line, Jameer Young. Game-winning shots, Matt. Game-winning shots. Ron Sanchez, he preaches that on these free throws every single day. He's perfect in the second one as well. Niners have their first double-digit lead today, 20-10 to 10 with 12-22 to go and a half. Now Miles gives it to Robinson White. They work it to the left side. Newton with it. Now back to Robinson White on the right side. Here's the drive. Jackson gets low in traffic. Muscling a shot up and he scores. Again, the Charlotte just a little late on the, on the on the switch right there. But again, nothing too bad. A little late on that help, I should say. Not the switch on the help. But again, good defense once they got there. And, and just a better offensive possession right there for ECU. Eight minutes to go. Eight minutes uh, into the game right now. Niners have an eight-point lead. Here's a jump shot from Williams. A three-pointer doesn't go off the back of the iron. Rebound in the hand of J.J. Miles. Now up the floor, East Carolina. Newton lost the handle, able to get it back. Gives it up to Jackson. Jackson on the right side. Now to the left, it goes into the corner. Newton gets it back. Here's Baruti for three. Back rim, no good. Long rebound in the hands of Jackson for East Carolina. And now Newton goes baseline. The blocking foul is going to be on the 49ers' Jackson Threadgill. That'll be his first foul today. Second one on the 49ers. Matos is back in the game for the Niners as well. And that's going to take us to the under-12 media timeout here at Halton Arena. 11-21 to play in the opening half. The 49ers on top of East Carolina, 20-12. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. It's bow time. So it's game time, and you got a bunch of rabid fans. Dad, we're hungry. You head out to fire up burgers and dogs and go from grill master to MVP, but you're at a GAS. Drop a big bow box on it. Game on. Feed a family of four with eight pieces of chicken, biscuits, fixings, and tea for just $19.99. 
rep your squad with an official Carolina Panthers Big Bow Box. It's bow time. <laughs> Hey, Harris Teeter shoppers. It's easy to save on fuel with Harris Teeter's new Fuel Points program. Just use your VIC card every time you shop, and you'll earn one fuel point for every dollar you spend on participating items. For every 100 fuel points you earn, you can save 10 cents per gallon on fuel purchases at any Harris Teeter fuel center and participating BP or Amico location. The more fuel points you earn, the more you can save. Up to $1 per gallon. Terms and conditions apply. Visit HarrisTeeter.com to learn more. My Harris Teeter. Nachos, got my big TV, and my favorite chair. It's game time. But you know, the only thing that would make it a little better is if I could listen to my local broadcasters while watching the game. Oh, hello. You must have wished for your game to be synced with TV and radio. I sure did. Do you have a DVR? You bet. Do you have a streaming device? Yeah. Blammo. Your game is now synced. It's that easy. Oh, boy. To see if you can get synced, head to SyncMyGame.com from Learfield IMG College. SyncMyGame.com? SyncMyGame.com. Niners on top, 20-12, 11-21 to play in the first half here at Halton Arena. Out of the timeout, Stone Carwell, Machos, Jameer Young, Milo Supica, and Jackson Threngill, the five Niners on the floor. Sherman Robinson-White's going to throw it inbounds for East Carolina, baseline left. Here in the first half, the Pirates going right to left on the floor. Inbounds, it goes to Newton. They throw it back out top, work it to the right side. Jackson guarded by Matos out there. Supica comes out to help. Jackson gives it up. And out of the left, it goes to Suggs. Suggs guarded by Threadgill, stripped away. Niners get a steal. Matos getting his hands in there. He'll bring it up the floor. Now gets it back out top to Young. 11 minutes to play here in the first half. The Niners can go back double, go up double figures again with a bucket here. Supica out top. He'll give it up now to Young on the right. He'll dribble it out, draws a double team, finds Matos. Now to Stone Carowell. Top of the key goes left, shot clock at seven. Now to the right side. They get inside to Supica for to shoot, working his man down. Fall away shot in the lane, off the rim, rolls off, no good. Suggs the rebound for the Pirates. Pirates bring it up ahead, going right to left. Suggs, foul on extended, gives it up to Newton. He'll drive in the paint, floating shot is good. And the lead is now six for the Niners. Last four points scored by East Carolina. Yeah, it looks like Threadgill, he was there, but it's not very aggressive with his, with his hands, not aggressive with his body. And, again, it looks like the Niners, they're, they've been in place, which is good. They're hitting the gaps, just, again, not there with the aggressiveness. Now, Stone Carowell posting up his first shot. It's off the iron. No good. He's Carolina the rebound. We played half of the first half here at Halton Arena. Niners up six. Baruti to Jackson, guarded by Stone Carowell on the wing. Back out top. Now to Newton, right of the key. Three ball. Around the rim, no good. Rebound, Charlotte. Young got the rebound. Here come the Niners. He's going to slow it down. Bring it across the timeline with the right-handed dribble. Goes left in the lane. Dribbled off his own foot. Lost the ball. Niners turn it over. Here comes East Carolina. Newton in transition. Scores, and he's fouled by Caleb Stone Carowell. And a chance at the three-point play. As the lead has been cut from 10 down to 4 with 9.39 to go in this first half. Yeah, man, they've done a lot of this without uh, the help of their number one player, Jaden Garner, the junior from Wake Forest, who, again, tw basically 20 points, averaged 20 points and 10 rebounds last year and just did over the last three or four minutes without doing so. And, say, and with the Charlotte 49ers, Shep on offense, it, w without him, they've uh, looked like they've been uh, completely confused out there, uh, even running it through Jameer Young. Newton, an 80% free throw shooter a year ago, and he makes it for the three-point play. Three-point lead now. 7-0 run for East Carolina. Niners on top, 2017. Back in the game is Jordan Shepard for the 49ers. Supica high post with it. Bryce Williams back on the floor as well. Left it goes to Shep. He'll drive, kick it to the right corner, thread go for three, throws an air ball. And the rebound to East Carolina. They can tie with a three right here. 7-0 Pirate run. Gardner. So at 23 against the Niners a year ago with six rebounds in East, uh, East Carolina. That was in late December. He'll spin, get low, floating shot good. His second bucket today. One-point game now. A 9-0 run for East Carolina with nine minutes to go in the first half. Again, just a little late right there on the trap from Bryce Williams. And if you're not there to be quick, that's exactly what Garner and EC wants to do. They want to get it to him down low. Bryce Williams open for three. Barry 
carries it. So the triple by Bryce ends the 9-0 run for East Carolina. Niners up 4-23-19. Yeah, the first points on the season there for Bryce Williams. You love to see it. Again, he's very aggressive from behind that three-point line. He has a beautiful step back, showed it off there, was able to get a little bit of separation and let it fly, and the Niners really needed it. Gardner posting up. He can't score, though, down low. little catch and shoot off the high-low pass. Here come the Niners. Shepard. Down the corner, Threadgill air ball up the left side. He's tried both corners and he's missed the iron twice. Again, yeah, you have to be able to get the, uh, I guess, the, the zoomies out of the way right there. If you're Jackson, Threadgill, nervous is out of the system. Now, next thing you know, look at the basket and say, hey, I made a thousand of these. Let's make a thousand more. Baruti into the paint, picks his dribble up near the foul line, gets it back out to Newton, gets a screen from Baruti. He'll drive over Threadgill, scores, and it's a one bucket game right now. 23-21, Niners by two at 7.47 to go. I, mean, I feel like it sounds like a broken record. The bodies are there. The intensity is not. I mean, it, it, they've been closing the gaps. They're not easy buckets right now for ECU. It's just they're going against almost like a lead fish when they're going up uh, near near the paint. East Carolina is shooting 59% here in the first half. The Niners at 41%. Shepard driving. Missed the shot. Rebound tipped outside. Niners keep possession, leading by two. Shot clock did not reset. It's at five. Here's a three by Williams. No good. Long rebound in the hands of East Carolina. Picked up by Newton. Throws it ahead to Gardner. He can't hang on to it. Lost the ball, but he tried to save it and does. Out to Newton. Nice save by Gardner on the baseline. Here's a drive by Jackson to the bucket, scores, tie game. Niners had a 10-point lead at 20-10. to 10. They've been outscored 13-3 to 3 since. It's now tied at 23 inside of seven minutes to play in the half. Yeah, I like just slowing it down right here with Jordan Shepard again, a veteran transfer from Oklahoma, able to grab the ball here to Jackson Threadgill and be able to run their offense. Again, their bread and butter is defense, but again, you still have to be able to get something good on the offense end. Matos posting up, can't score, though, as Threadgill got him the ball. Niners one and done this trip down the floor. Here comes East Carolina looking for the lead. Newton shoots, got the roll, and the Pirates have the lead now, 25-23, 6.24 to go in this first half. I know last year, what, 60 to 54, as it looks like Sanchez is looking over to Shep, but almost an offensive kind of juggernaut right now for both teams, but the Niners going cold over the, what, the last three or four minutes. Need a solid possession right here if they don't want ECU to break away over the last five minutes of the first half. It's a 15 to three East Carolina run the last six minutes. Supica to the bucket, he's fouled. He went up for the dunk and he was fouled, but free throws coming now for Milo Supica. But six minutes to play in the half. We'll get a timeout of the floor. East Carolina 25, Charlotte 23. The Pirates on a 15 to 3 run. Last six minutes and seven seconds. This is Charlotte basketball from Learfield IMG College. At Ortho Carolina, my personalized orthopedic care begins with the click of a mouse because online scheduling saves me time. Ortho Carolina, my care, my way. Schedule your in person or virtual appointment today at orthocarolina.com. It's bow time. <laughs> so it's game time, and you got a bunch of rabid fans. Dad, we're hungry. You head out to fire up burgers and dogs and go from grill master to MVP, but you're out of GAS. Drop a big bow box on it. Game on. Feed a family of four with eight pieces of chicken, biscuits, fixings, and tea for just $19.99. And rep your squad with an official Carolina Panthers big bow box. It's bow time. <laughs> The passion. 25, first down, 20. 15, 10, 5, 3, 2, 1. The fury. Getting blitzed. Down he goes. The speed. Doubled into the lead. Oh, Mr. College football. Toward the end zone. Got it for six points. You can unhitch the wagon. Put the ponies in the bar. Over the shoulder. Get 30, 20. This is the College Football Blitz. Listen on Saturdays this fall on College Sports Now on TuneIn. Back at Halton, six minutes to play here in the first half. The Niners find themselves down a bucket. It is 25-23, and East Carolina, 12 of 19 from the floor. That's 63%, and that's without making a, a three-pointer. They missed their five threes so far. The Niners shooting 35%, seven of 20, and three of 10 from three. Milo Supic is going to go to the line to shoot a couple. He 
has six points. He's four for four in this half from the foul line already. The senior from Serbia. Charlotte six of six is a team at the line in the first half. And the first free throw is no good off the front of the rim. The Pirates have only attempted one free throw in the first 14 minutes of this game. He'll also bend his knees. Second shot is good. He's got seven points down. The Niners down one, 25-24. And Matt, it's almost, uh, I feel like the complete opposite of what happened last uh, uh, last year when ECU, they were just getting to the line. I believe Garner was nine for ten at the line, but uh, credit the, the Niners defense of being able to foul, uh, or being able to defend without fouling. Here's a jump shot knocked down just inside the uh, right elbow by Brandon Suggs. A catch and shoot jump shot. It's now 27-24 East Carolina. Pirates' biggest lead. Five and a half to go until halftime. Shepard on the left side. Now to Milos out top. Over to Young, right of the key, behind that three-point line, guarded by Robinson. Now to the right corner. Here's a three partially blocked, I believe. It's off the side of the backboard. They're going to say it was partially blocked. It'll be Niner basketball. I think J.J. Miles got a finger on it. So seven seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, I love the offense right there for the Niners. You saw about three or four off-ball picks uh, from Milos, uh, even Matos, and also going down to Bryce Williams as well, able to set up that more of that open shot right there, but just a good closeout uh, there by J.J. Miles, I believe. Shepard throws it to Milos. Milos on the baseline right side, spins, shoots off the glass, no good. Rebound East Carolina. Good defense down low by the Pirates, that time by DeBoe, the seven-footer. Robinson White looking inside to Gardner. He'll get it to DeBoe, left hand up and in. The seven-footer in the lane puts the Pirates up five. And his run for the Pirates extends. It's now 19 to four, the last 7-12. Yeah, it was good post trap by the Niners of Gardner. It was quick, but they didn't get the easy gap that was right over the middle. He should never be able to throw a three to five foot pass uh, with that high of execution. Milo's posting up on the right side, working on DeBow. Gets low, double team, finds Matos. Ball stripped away, loose, picked up by East Carolina. And a Charlotte foul reaching in a Jameer Young. Well, East Carolina, very aggressive going after loose balls. Yeah, Matt, they're bringing the intensity uh, here to Halton Arena again with, of course, no fans out here. We got, well, maybe 15 of us media, I guess you can call us media members, kind of running around. But other than that, it looks like, I mean, ECU, they're, they're, they're benched. They're, they're so activated right now. It looks like they're the ones who are saying, you know what, let's go ahead and take the ball game if we can. Suggs drives partially blocked by the Niners. Here comes Charlotte going left to right. Matos down the lane, gives it up to Bryce. Layup is up and in off the glass. Now it's a three-point game. Niners down 29-26, approaching four minutes to go in the half. Suggs outside right, now to Miles. He'll take a three-pointer, and that's off the glass, no good. On the rebound, it's out of bounds. It's going to be Charlotte Ball. And that'll take us to the under four media timeout. Coming to the game for the first time here in the uh, first half is Anzac Rosetto for the Niners, the 6'10 sophomore from Auckland, New Zealand. He checks in, and uh, we got a timeout. We'll step aside. 3.57 to go in the half. Niners trail East Carolina 29-26. This is Charlotte basketball from Learfield IMG College. 49er fans, for more than two decades, the doctors and staff at University Eye Associates have provided professional care to the Charlotte 49ers. University Eye delivers quality eye care on and off the court. University Eye Associates helps me see the game better, and they will be delighted to help you too. Visit them online at universityeye.net. You and University Eye Associates, that's a slam dunk. Harris Teeter shoppers, it's easy to save on fuel with Harris Teeter's new Fuel Points program. Just use your VIC card every time you shop and you'll earn one fuel point for every dollar you spend on participating items. For every 100 fuel points you earn, you can save 10 cents per gallon on fuel purchases at any Harris Teeter fuel center and participating BP or Amico location. The more fuel points you earn, the more you can save. Up to one dollar per gallon. Terms and conditions apply. Visit HarrisTeeter.com to learn more. My Harris Teeter. 
midway through bath time and two medium, two topping Domino's pizzas for $5.99 each have begun their drive to the Smith's front door. That's a GPS-enabled custom delivery alert, folks. The newest improvement to the Domino's tracker saying Domino's will be there in two minutes. They're calling an audible. Bath time's now rinse time. They got one kid dry, two kids dry. The pizzas are here. They made it to the door. The kids are cleaning up. The new Domino's tracker with GPS worked again. To add a minimum, pan pizza will be extra. As for this limited time offer, prices, participation, delivery area, and charges may vary. Inside of four minutes remaining until halftime, the 49ers will have the ball out of the timeout. They trail East Carolina 29-26. Matos will throw it into Shepard in the backcourt. And Zach Rosetto checking in right before the timeout. Also on the floor is Young and Bryce Williams. Matos to throw it in in the far corner near the Niner bench. Inbounds it goes to Jameer Young. Charlotte going left to right in the first half, and Shep's going to bring it up the floor across the timeline. Across the big C on the floor. Now to Matos, left side behind the arc. He's guarded out there by J.J. Miles. Shepard getting it back, 14 to shoot. Shep, left elbow, driving. Ball stripped away by Baruti. Niners turn the ball over. Here comes East Carolina into the front court. Suggs will drive to the bucket. There's contact and a foul. Does not finish, but free throws now coming. I like it that right there from Anzac Rosetto again. He, he's more of that uh, that fun-loving type guy that you can bring out. He can bring that energy uh, to the team. And, of course, not being able to, uh, to have the crowd right now behind shooting the free throws here for ECUs. That one rattles out, but still love the defense there from Anzac. Make him earn it. I mean, heck, they haven't gone to the free throw line much. Make him earn it and miss the first one. Brandon Suggs, 79% of the foul line a year ago, missing the first one here. Now the second one is good. So the lead is now 4, 30-26. Jackson checking back in. Newton checking back in for the Pirates. Suggs and Miles go out. Bryce Williams throws it in bounds for the 49ers. And Jameer is going to walk it up the floor. Guarded by Robinson White. Now to the right it goes. This is Bryce Williams. Bounce pass to the baseline. Matos right side. Follow away jump shot. Good. He scored the first five points of the game for the 49ers, and that one makes it a two-point game now. It's 30-28 East Carolina. Robinson White goes left with a dribble. Now reverses, gets it to Jackson. In the corner, Baruti. Back out it goes to Jackson. Over to Newton, left of the key. Guarded by Jameer, Jameer Young for the Niners. Now Jackson right side. Shep's on him. One dribble, picks it up. Nine to shoot. Robinson White for three. No good. Missed it. Rebound Charlotte. Shepard with the ball. He'll bring it ahead. Into the front court. Right-handed dribble. Gets a screen from Rosetto. Goes left elbow jumper. Good tie game. 30-30 as Shep knocks down the left elbow jump shot. Good screen by Rosetto. And with two and a half to go in this first half, the Niners have tied the game. And Matt, we were kind of talking about on a short little break saying, hey, maybe they should just go unconventional, maybe do a little bit of ISO and kind of go against the slow down offense. And that's exactly what the Niners have done. Gardner in traffic, unable to score, fighting for the rebound, trying to save it. It is inbound, still picked up by the 49ers. Good defense again by Rosetto inside. Now the drive by Bryce Williams. He'll kick it out, throw it away. He lost the handle, tried to save it, looking for Matos in the left wing, but it was over his head out of bounds. Yeah, and that's whenever you're Bryce, you have to be able to slow it down, and I mean, he ended up having the ball. He didn't have to exactly make that pass. He's going to come out for Caleb Stone Carewell. Looks like wow. Newton may come out as well, and see, make sure everyone, the refs are making sure everyone is, is checking in properly, and they are. Looks like that's J.J. Miles, a senior from Garysburg, North Carolina, coming in. But, again, love the offense right there. The last three possessions, kind of switching things up. It's not going to be the offense you want to run the entire second half. But over two, three minutes, kind of get some energy in the offense and on the defense end. Caleb Stone Carroll on the game for the Niners, replacing Bryce Williams. There's going to be a foul on the Niners away from the ball. It's going to be on Matos. Jerry Matos, his first. And team's seventh. So it's a one-and-one one coming here for East Carolina. Gardner's going to be at the line, 73% at the line a year ago. Averaged 19.7 points last season, scored 23 in the game against the Niners. That was uh, on December 22nd, a 60-56 East Carolina win. So now the first of the one and one. It's off the rim. No good. Rebound to Stone Carroll off the Niners. His foot was on the line right there too, Matt. We had to finally have a good angle. We're not in the middle of the court. His foot was right on the line. I was about to call it myself. 
Niners have the ball. They can take the lead. Here's a three by Matos. No good. Rebound Jackson for East Carolina. 142 to play in the half. 30-30 right now. Gardner posting up. Missed the shot down low. Again, good double-team defense by the Niners to make that shot more difficult. And right now, the Niners again with the ball in a tie game with 1.29 to go in the half. Stone Carewell gives it up out top to Young. Young guarded by Miles out there. Over to Shepard. Dribble drive goes left, backs it up now, gets it across the floor to Young on the right side. He walks. Or did he? No, it's a foul. Offensive foul on the Niners. Away from the ball. Yeah, it looks like it was on Anzac Rosetta right there, trying to, I guess, clear a little bit of space right there from Jameer. But again, whenever you're going through these offensive woes, you have to be able to go to those key guys on your team. That's, that's Jordan Shepard and Jameer Young. All last year, some of the all-conference all USA preseason teams and be able to get the ball to them and say, hey, this is where you have to, uh, to come up big for us and get us out of these little woes with a minute 15 to go. 30-30 is the score. Coming back of the game now is Threadgill and Milo Supica. Milos in the first half has played well. East Carolina with the basketball in the front court. Miles to Gardner out top. Over to Newton. Left side. Dribbles out, draws a double team, looks inside. Good catch, but the shot is no good going up and missing is uh, DeBoe. Now, Lugie DeBoe, Niners the rebound. 54 seconds to go, and Shep walks it across the timeline. Shep out top. Again, tie game. Niners are led by as many as 10. And East Carolina came back and they went up five. And now a foul as uh, Jameer Young put on the floor near the uh, CLT logo, left side of the lane. It's going to be on Lugie DeVoe. That'll be his second. And on the team, that's six, so it's going to be out of bounds to the Ford Niners with 38.3 seconds to go in this first half. DeVoe goes out of the game. Baruti back on the floor. And the Niners to throw it inbound. Shepard's going to throw it in. And he throws it out top, getting it over to Milo Supica. Now Shep comes back, takes a handoff. Shep out top, now to the right side it goes. Thread Gill back to Shepard. Shepard driving left of the lane. Little pump fake off the glass, he scores! That little pump fake had the defender fly by. Niners have a 32-30 to 30 lead with 21 seconds to go in the first half. Yeah, we saw Shep being so aggressive over the first five minutes and love to see that here over the last little bit. And that was a beautiful take right there uh, from the talented uh, senior there for the Charlotte 49ers. Shepard, a team high, 11 points here in the first half. Newton, right elbow, fall away. Good, he's got 13 here in the first half. Ties the game at 32, and there's the horn. We are tied at the break. So tied after 20 minutes at 32 to 32. Whew. Well, that was that was a lot, Matt, <laughs> for us. And uh, just, of course, we're getting back up to game speed. I know the team is as well. And I love how Ron Sanchez, he's rocking the towel uh, to honor uh, one of the late great coaches as well in, in all of college basketball. I know a lot of coaches are doing that as well. So love to see it, Matt. But, hey. 15 minutes to go back to the drawing boards, have that little halftime speech. I know Ron's going to have an earful for him, and he's going to use the next 14 minutes and 41 seconds to definitely uh, talk a little bit of uh, some schemes to do in the second half. So, uh, halftime coming up. Mario Washington back in the network studio, which is uh, presented by Chick-fil-A. 32-32 is the score. We're back with halftime with Mario after this uh, th after this uh, timeout. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. It's bow time. So it's game time, and you got to...
Time the Niners uh, right now tied 32-32 with East Carolina. Matt Swarad, Trevor Wilt with you. Uh, East Carolina shot 54% in the first half. Trev, the Niners only 41%. And uh, East Carolina 0 for 7 from 3. Niners, though, just 3 of 12. Yeah, and whenever you look back to the first 5 to 7 minutes, it, we saw an aggressive showing 49ers team still playing their offense, but seeing some aggressive drives there from Jameer Young, from Jordan Shepard, even some nice ISO shots from Jerry Mott did not see that uh, prevalent over the last 10 to even 15 minutes of that second half. I mean, Matt, they're just fortunate enough to be uh, right within 5 to 10 points, it would look like. But again, getting to the free throw line, knocking down those big-time shots. And you see ECU, they were out here about three minutes ago warming up. Charlton 49ers just getting out here with two minutes and 50 seconds to go. So uh, I guarantee it was a long talking to uh, for Ron Sanchez. And hopefully the boys will be able to kind of right the ship here in, in the second half. No, the Niners did play for uh, more than half of the first half with the lead. Had the lead for 11 minutes and 14 seconds in the first half. And uh, they led by as many as 10 at one point. You know, Jameer Young has only taken two shots. And uh, he has a couple of points uh, getting at the free throw line. Does have four rebounds to lead the 49ers. But uh, here's a guy that had uh, some really big games a year ago for the Niners. And uh, let's see him get going in the second half. Oh, I mean, that's one of the, of course, one of the top players in all of Conference USA one of the top freshmen. Uh, he was a freshman All-American last year. And again, he needs to get aggressive. And I, I know there was so many games last year, not so many, there was a few games last year where he needed to come up in big moments and be aggressive. And maybe that maybe it just wasn't falling for him. But we'd love to see if Jared Garcia and Anzac Rosetto can get back in the ball game and provide uh, some of that emotion, some of that energy that the Niners need. Second half play-by-play -play coming up. We're tied at halftime at 32. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. Hey, Harris Teeter Shop. It's easy to save on fuel with Harris Teeter's new Fuel Points program. Just use your VIC card every time you shop, and you'll earn one fuel point for every dollar you spend on participating items. For every 100 fuel points you earn, you can save 10 cents per gallon on fuel purchases at any Harris Teeter fuel center and participating BP or Amico location. The more fuel points you earn, the more you can save. Up to $1 per gallon. Terms and conditions apply. Visit HarrisTeeter.com to learn more. The Harris Teeter. When you need a new bike or office chair, even a water filter, you go online and look for the best. So of course you'd be willing to search high and low for something much more important, like the best health care. But what if you didn't have to? What if there was an award-winning health system close to home? Well, there is. Atrium Health, the only health system in the region nationally ranked by U.S. News and World Report. When it comes to the best for your health, the choice is clear. Learn more at atriumhealth.org slash best. It's bow time. <laughs> so it's game time, and you got a bunch of rabid fans. Dad, we're hungry. You head out to fire up burgers and dogs and go from grill master to MVP, but you're at a GAS. Drop a big bow box on it. Game on. Feed a family of four with eight pieces of chicken, biscuits, fixings, and tea for just $19.99. And rep your squad with an official Carolina Panthers big bow box. It's bow time. <laughs> Start with a foundation of toughness, then add exceptional intelligence and dominating power. That's how you build a winner, and that's how Ford builds a lineup of vehicles with features like EcoBoost technology for a winning combination of power and performance. Another reason why Ford is America's best-selling brand 10 years in a row. Leaders aren't born, they're built. And in the Carolinas, they're built for victory. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. Based on 2010 through 2019 California sales. Well, second half about to get underway. Let's pause quickly, 10 seconds for station ID. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. These are your teams, and this is your town. 7.30, the game. ESPN Charlotte. WZGD Craverton. Well, game tied at 32. Niners have the first possession here in the second half. Young on the left side. Out top it goes. Now pass back door uh, to uh, Milos, but he went up for the dunk, had it stripped away. Here comes East Carolina. Going left to right on the floor, and Newton has it outside right. Gives it up, gets it right back. Yeah, it looks like Milos was trying to send a message right there, trying to go up strong. Easily could have went up with his left hand that he's been so dominant with today already. 
DeVoe throws it out to Newton with 13 points in the first half, including the bucket that tied the game right before halftime. He'll drive, can't finish. Good defense by the Niners inside. Charlotte the rebound. And here come the Niners going right to left. Young in the front court, dribbles out top. Now to Matos on the right, the Dayton transfer. Williams, top of the key, left it goes to Young. He's guarded by Miles on the left side. Now Supic out top. Shot clock at 11. Milo's holding out of the ball. Looking for Young, driving, gets it to him. High floating shot off the glass is no good, but a foul. And free throws coming for Jameer Young. And Matt, you mentioned it just, uh, just before our last break, saying that we would love to see him be a little bit more aggressive and getting a nice pass right there, a nice entry pass from the top post, uh, top of the post there from big number five and wide. And Milo Supica able to get it, drive in. And again, would love to see people crash the boards as well. No one crashed after Jameer Young drew two defenders as well. We had Shep all the way over here in the corner. Brandon Suggs, the uh, guilty pirate, his first foul of the game. At the line is Young for two, and the first one is good. And the Niners have a 33-32 lead. Young is three points, all coming at the foul line here today. 74% a year ago. Left-hander, shots up. This one's perfect. And the Niners by two, and here come the Pirates. Second half just underway. Pirates going left to right. Newton picked up by Jameer Young at the half-court line. He'll give it up to Miles. Newton getting it right back. Outside left, looking for a screen. Draws a double team. He'll give it up to Miles on the left side. Miles puts it on the floor. Back to Newton. Over to Suggs. Looking inside. DeBose got it. He'll score as the seven-footer was just uh, too big to guard inside. They threw up high for him. And it's a tie game at 34. Yeah, good entry pass right there for the Pirates. And whenever you're giving up three to four inches like Milo Supica, that's tough to defend that. Jameer got low, spins around, and scores off that left block. How about that, Matt? That was a, 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 a circus shot right there from Jameer Young. But we've, we've seen him do so many wonderful things around the rim with the left and right hand. That's not a huge surprise for us. Newton to drive, kicks it back out. They work it left now. Suggs back to DeBoe, over to Miles. Right side to Newton. DeBoe trying to post up down low. Shot clock at nine. Miles gives it up. Suggs goes around his back, drives, splits a double team. And a foul on the floor on the 49ers. By the way, that uh, last bucket by Jameer Young is his first made field goal today. Now one for three. The foul's on Supica, his first. It'll be out of bounds. Baseline left for East Carolina. 17.44 to go. Niners ahead 36-34. to 34. Newton to throw it in bounds. Has to hurry now. He was taking a lot of time. He throws it in, gets it right back. Dribbles out, guarded by Young. 15 to shoot. He'll get it to Suggs, guarded by Williams. Left it goes to Miles. Shot clock at 10. Inside DeBoe, and he runs over Matos, who hits the deck, but no whistle. And DeBoe scores to tie the game at 36. And it almost looked like Jerry Matos got there in time, Matt, to be able to draw that offensive foul. And I know that's what Sanchez and Cody Kimball over here, they were screaming for it underneath the mask. We can still, we can hear it. We can't see them screaming. We can hear it all right. Tie game. Young goes right, guarded by the seven-footer. He'll find Machos, left corner, three on the way. Good! Machos made a three in the first half, early in the first half. That's his second one today. Niners by three. Here's a jump shot, a two-pointer knocked out by Miles as they quickly race up the floor and make it a one-point game. That's the way East Carolina wants to play. They want to get up the floor quickly. Exactly, and then Charlotte, they didn't get back after the May three. They kind of uh, lollygagged just for a second, stood around the big C at the, the bold C, the middle of the court, and didn't get back. Now Jameer driving and using his left hand to keep the ball away from the seven-footer guarding him. He scores the basket to put the Niners up three. Matt, it's like you. we had Jameer Young. Um, it's like you were whispering in his ear right there, and he heard every word that you said for him to drive and be aggressive here in the second half. Now a floater by Miles. He got in the lane as these teams continue to trade baskets. 16-21 to play in the game. Niners on top, 41-40. to And Shep right now and Young, they need to show... Uh, they need to be able to show ECU that last year, I mean, it was it was a tough game for Jameer Young. Shot a lot, didn't make too much, and heck, I believe it was the same thing with Malik Martin, who's now at Rhode Island. So, a new-looking team right here for the Charlotte 49ers. 15, 16 more minutes to go here in the second half and Halton game opener. Milo's trying to go back door to uh, Jameer Young. Pass
pass off his fingertips. It was a bit high and a bit hard. Out of bounds. Niners turn the ball over. Time out on the floor. First one of the second half. There's 15.55 to play here at Halton Arena. First game of the season. Niners 41. East Carolina 40. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. What's the big deal? Where can you get pizza, bread twists, specialty chicken, and more for just $5.99 each? Is it at Domino's? He hands off, hand toss pizza and a marble cookie brownie. He's going, going, go! There's a lot of variety on the radio and at Domino's, too, where you can... Item minimum pan pizza bone and wings and bread bowls will be extra. Ask for this limited time offer. Prices, participation, delivery area, and charges may vary. Start with a foundation of toughness, then add exceptional intelligence and dominating power. That's how you build a winner, and that's how Ford builds their lineup of vehicles with features like EcoBoost technology for a winning combination of power and performance. Another reason why Ford is America's best selling brand 10 years in a row. Leaders aren't born, they're built, and in the Carolinas, they're built for victory. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. Based on 2010 through 2019 California sales. At Great Clips, we want you to feel good about getting a great haircut. That's why we created the Great Care Promise. Our commitment to keeping everyone as safe as possible in the salon. From contactless online check-in and social distancing to rigorous sanitization and mask requirements at all Great Clips locations. We're doing more to keep our salons clean and comfortable. Check in online and get a ready next text when you're next. It's going to be great. All salons are independently owned and operated. Contact your local salon for specific safety measures. Now, four minutes into the second half, the uh, 49ers have a one-point lead. It was a tie game at halftime at 32. It is 41 to 40 right now. Charlotte on top of East Carolina. And uh, coming in for the first time of the second half is Jackson Threadgill. Macho, Supica, Shepard, and Young, the other four Niners on the floor. Jackson comes in out of the timeout, and also Robinson White and Baruti for East Carolina. Gardner stays in the game with uh, Newton as well. It'll be Pirate basketball out of the timeout. Niners just had their seventh turnover of the game. East Carolina, only five turnovers so far today. Robinson White's going to run the point now, getting it up the floor, guarded by Jameer Young. Into the front court, gets it to Gardner. Gardner, now to the right corner, Jackson, three-pointer on the way, in and out, no good. Rebound to Supica for the 49ers. Quickly getting it in the hands of Shepard. He'll walk it ahead. Into the front court, hands it off. Matos, now to Threadgill. Threadgill away from the basket, guarded by Jackson. He'll put it on the deck, get it to Matos. 16 to shoot, away from the basket of fouls, and to be called, it's going to be on the Niners, uh, Milo Supica, as he's called for clearing out inside, trying to post up. He was uh, being guarded by Gardner, I think. Yeah, he was trying to get himself just a little bit of clearance there with Gardner, and uh, I think that Milos was saying that he almost just lost his footing, and it wasn't exactly him knocking him out of the way with that right elbow, but hey, referee, the zebra knows best, apparently. Second foul on Milos today, second team foul on the Niners here in the second half. Gardner out top of the ball, guarded by Machos. He'll give it up on the wing. Now Newton has it. He'll back it out top of the key. To the right side, it goes to Baruti. Guarded by Milos out there. Baruti dribbles out. Shot clock at seven. Now to Newton. Six to shoot. Newton guarded by Shepard. Leans into him. Pull away shot is no good. Gardner, the offensive rebound, puts it back up. Misses. Tip here. No good. Rebound. Charlotte. Machos comes away with it. Now the Niners winning the battle that time on the third time off the glass. Supic out top to Shepard. 14-41 to go. Niners lead by one. Shep picks his dribble up, throws it out top now to Young. Guarded by Robinson White, looking for a screen. Keeps the dribble going. Dribbles in, now backs it back out. Looking across the floor, finds Trego. Pump fake. Pull up on a mid-range jump shot. No good. Still looking for his first made jumper today. Rebound in the hands of Matos, and Matos going for a double dribble. Trying to get around Jackson of East Carolina. Niners turn the ball back over to the Pirates. 14-23 to go in the second half. A one-point Niner lead. Yeah, aggressive shot right there from Jackson Threadgill. Again, the three-star crew out of local Davidson Day and Concord High. But Jerry Matos, he's still looking over here at the referee, trying to figure out exactly what he did wrong. Didn't agree with the call, but it did look like he, he might have double, double, double dribbled right there. His hands were close to the ball. I'm not sure if he actually did double dribble, but it looked like he did. Yeah. 
Robinson White gets a screen, dribbles out to the right side, goes back left over to Newton. Shot clock at 12, game clock 14.04 to go. Niners leading 41 to 40 over East Carolina. First game of the season for both teams. Newton straight away three, no good. Rebound to Threadgill of the 49ers. On the baseline, he corralled out with his right hand. Now Young in the front court across the timeline. Left-handed dribble out between the circles. Bounce pass to Supica behind the arc. Looks across the floor, gets it to Shep. He'll drive by Newton in the paint, goes left hand, he's fouled. He changed hands from his right to his left, and in doing so, he was bumped, and that's when he lost the ball going up. Unable to score, but a couple of free throws coming. Yeah, I love the separation there that uh, that Jordan Shepard, he was going in into the paint. He knew he had to body someone up. He had two, even drew, a, I believe, a third defender, able to throw a little, a little elbow, did not get that called on him on the offensive foul, able to clear up this space and be able to get knocked and go to the line shooting, too. Again, this is something that you said during the offseason, trying to get better behind the three-point line, of course, at the free-throw line as well. These big game-winning shots, and Matt, you get to the line nine out of ten times, the Niners, they need to keep doing so as he knocks down the first one. Shep was 71% at the line a year ago. Makes the shot to make it a 2.9 or lead, 42-40. to 40. Milos goes out of the game, gets a breather, and coming in now is Caleb Stone Carrowell. Foul was on Jackson, by the way. Tyree Jackson. He now has a couple of fouls today for East Carolina. Second free throw is no good by Shep. The rebound to Gardner for East Carolina. Quickly getting it in the hands of Jackson. In the front court, left side. 13 and a half to go in the game. Niners, Niners leading by two, 42 to 40. Maruti over to Jackson, left wing. And a Robinson White, right-handed dribble goes right, now goes back left to Baruti for three, knocked it down. East Carolina with the lead now, 43-42. The big three by Batumba Baruti. And you can see a slight little hesitant, uh, hesitant was Jerry Matos whenever he was going for the closeout. He had the hands up, but it didn't come in there with aggressive and active hands, and that's why it was an open shot, more of an open shot there for the Pirates. Now a drive by Young, cut off on the baseline, throws it back out. Shot clock at seven. Shepard over to Matos, baseline right, shots up off the iron, no good. Rebound Robinson White, knocked away by Stone Carowell, but back in the hands of Robinson White. Up the floor goes Jackson, pump fake, and a drive, right hand finish. Nice pump fake, and it took it right to the rim, and the lead is now three for East Carolina. Their biggest lead of the game was five. And 29-24 in the first half. Yeah, and Charlotte not getting back on defense, and ECU, they're reaping those benefits right there, and Charlotte not doing so. Matos out top to Stone Carowell. 12 minutes to play. Now Threadgill through a double team. Now gives it up to Young. He'll take a three off the mark. No good. Hasn't made a three yet today. Niners trail by three. Here comes East Carolina. Miles pulls up and treads and misses the shot. Rebound to Shepard. For the game, the Niners shooting 42%. East Carolina 51. There's going to be a foul coming up the floor as Jordan Shepard's being checked all the way up the floor. The foul's on East Carolina, and it's going to be on Jackson once again. That's going to be his third. Timeout on the floor. 11.58 to go in the ball game, and right now it's East Carolina on the road leading 45-42. to 42. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. 49er fans, for more than two decades, the doctors and staff at University Eye Associates have provided professional care to the Charlotte 49ers. University Eye delivers quality eye care on and off the court. University Eye Associates helps me see the game better, and they will be delighted to help you too. Visit them online at universityeye.net. You and University Eye Associates, that's a slam dunk. Charlotte Basketball is sponsored by Progressive. Drivers who stay with Progressive save over $750 on average. At Great Clips, we want you to feel good about getting a great haircut. That's why we created the Great Care Promise. Our commitment to keeping everyone as safe as possible in the salon. From contactless online check-in and social distancing to rigorous sanitization and mask requirements at all Great Clips locations. We're doing more to keep our salons clean and comfortable. Check in online and get a ready next text when you're next. Great Clips. It's going to be great. All salons are independently owned and operated. Contact your local salon for specific safety measures. This is the College Football Rewind. to relive the emotions 
from the Saturday that was in college football. College Football Rewind. Download on Sunday mornings on Apple Podcasts. Search College Sports Now. Now, just under 12 minutes to go in the game. The Niners find themselves down 45 to 42 to East Carolina. Out of the timeout, Macho, Stone Carowell, Threadgill, Supaganel back in the game, and Jameer Young. So Shepard getting a breather. Matos will throw it in bounds for the 49ers. Niners shooting off to our left side here in the second half. Off the inbounds, almost a steal by Robinson White. In the hands now of Young for the Niners to Supica. Milo's holding onto it in the right way. Now to Stone Carwell out top to Young. Young driving in the lane, floating shots up and around the rim and no good. Milo's the rebound, puts it back up, has it stripped away, and it's in the hands of East Carolina. J.J. Miles comes away. He'll drive down the floor, blocked by Stone Carwell out of bounds. It'll stay with East Carolina. 11.36 left to go in the game. That was one of the first time where the Niners actually got back on defense whenever you saw J.J. Uh, Miles and ECU kind of in that transition offense. They haven't been doing that all game and a beautiful block uh, uh, from behind right there uh, from Big Zero for the Niners. Jackson left side looking inside, gets it to Gardner. The lob play and Gardner never came down the ball. Just uh, caught it and put it up off the glass and in. So it's now 47-42. They match their biggest lead of the game, a five-point lead for East Carolina. 11-14 to go. Jameer Young to the right elbow. Throws it back outside. Entry pass by Matos looking for Supica. Thrown away. Here comes J.J. Miles. His pass tipped and stolen by Threadgill. Niners get the ball right back. They've got a two-on-one. Matos brings it up, looks for Stone. Carowell, catch and shoot on the lob. It's good. His first basket. Niners have a open transition. It's now 47-44. East Carolina by three. And getting back to the bread and butter, the defense leading to offense for the Charlotte 49ers. Another 10 more minutes, though. They've already given up 47 points. Can need to continue to lock down. Let them hit that open shot. Make them hit that open three because they haven't really been able to do that all afternoon to have the Pirates. Baruti's made a three, takes another and makes it. The former Washington Husky who transferred to East Carolina has made two threes, and it's now 50-44, the largest lead for East Carolina this afternoon. I'll put that one on me. That was a broadcaster's curse and, uh, and a heartbeat. Supica, handoff to Jameer Young. Young in the lane, finds Threadgill in the corner. Threadgill trying to bank one, no good, off the glass in the hands of Gardner for East Carolina. Threadgill's not made a shot in the floor. He's now taken four in his first game as a freshman. Here's a steal by Matos. Down the floor for the dunk. And it's now 50-46 East Carolina, 9.51 to go. Yeah, looking really good right now is Caleb Stone Carewell. I know that was a, a pick right there, an interception for Jerry Matos as we lead to a, a dually and ECU timeout. But Caleb Stone Carewell coming up, bringing some intensity there on the defense. And he looks tired, though. Need, maybe needs some rest. <laughs> Break in the action, 9.43 to go. Niners trail by four, 50-46. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. At Great Clips, we want you to feel good about getting a great haircut. That's why we created the Great Care Promise. Our commitment to keeping everyone as safe as possible in the salon. From contactless online check-in and social distancing to rigorous sanitization and mask requirements at all Great Clips locations, we're doing more to keep our salons clean and comfortable. Check in online and get a ready next text when you're next. Great Clips. It's going to be great. All salons are independently owned and operated. Contact your local salon for specific safety measures. When you need a new bike or office chair, even a water filter, you go online and look for the best. So of course you'd be willing to search high and low for something much more important, like the best health care. But what if you didn't have to? What if there was an award-winning health system close to home? Well, there is. Atrium Health, the only health system in the region nationally ranked by U.S. News and World Report. When it comes to the best for your health, the choice is clear. Learn more at atriumhealth.org slash best. It's bow time. <laughs> so it's game time, and you got a bunch of rabid fans. Dad, we're hungry. You head out to fire up burgers and dogs and go from grill master to MVP, but you're at a GAS. Drop a big bow box on it. Game on. Feed a family of four with eight pieces of chicken, biscuits, fixings, and tea for just $19.99. 
rep your squad with an official Carolina Panthers big bow box. It's bow time. Ah! Charlotte Basketball is sponsored by Progressive Home Insurance. Get your quote at Progressive.com today. Welcome back inside Halton Arena. Matt and Trevor with you. The uh, Niners with 9.43 left to go in the game. Find themselves at the moment down four, 50 to 46. And uh, still not shooting a great percentage, 41% for the game. While uh, East Carolina is still over 50% as a team. They're at 51 right now, Trevor. Yeah, they are. And again, just over the last few minutes, though, it looks like Charlotte has been able to pick up that intensity. Again, the bodies have been there. Just the intensity has not. Uh, I'm liking what I've seen from K. Caleb Stone care well. Looks like they've been going to him a little bit more than Bryce Williams uh, here in the second half. And uh, Shepard back in the game, replacing Jameer Young out of the timeout. Outside of that, the other same four on the floor. Milos, uh, Stone, Carwell, Threadgill, and Machos. Shot clock at 10 right now for East Carolina. Jackson, a pump fake on Machos, gives it up to Newton. Six to shoot. He'll drive, get low. Tough shot, good. Boy, he has been terrific on the drive and the finish today. He has 15 points. That's his first bucket, though, in the second half. Yeah, that kid, he's been making shots his whole life. And, heck, again, almost scored 3,300 points down there in El Paso, Texas. The guy is a, a certified bucket. Stone Carwell driving and uh, unable to score, but he's fouled. He went left to right and used the rim trying to hold off the defense. Still had the contact, and he'll go to the free throw line for a couple of shots here. Niners trail by six as the Pirates have matched their biggest lead. 9.05 to go in the game. The foul on East Carolina was on Gardner. Hey, you love to see that, the aggressiveness right there from Caleb Stone. Carewell, of course, uh, from nearby and, and local Cox Mill High School. is first one hits the front, hits the back, and, and rims out right there. But again, he was a 2017-2018 a state champ. was the MVP of the, of the state championship finals. Even with guys with Leaky Black on the team from Carolina, Wendell Moore from Duke. This kid, he knows how to win. He was just waiting for that body to get exactly where he wants it and for the mind to get there. And it looks like Sanchez has found a, a, a pretty solid at least a bench piece right now on Caleb Stone Carewell. Makes the second free throw. It's a five-point game. East Carolina with the lead. Gardner posting up. Missed the shot over Stone Carewell. Rebound in the hands of Matos for the 49ers. 8.45 to play in the game. Matos across the timeline. Guarded by Suggs. Goes right. Hands it off to Stone Carewell. Now to the left side is Shepard. Bounce pass to Stone Carewell in the corner. Guarded by Gardner. He'll give it up on the wing. Out top it goes to Shepard. Shot clock at 10. Shep around his back. It's down the lane. He's tripped by Jackson. And on Jackson, that's going to be his fourth foul. And five on the team for East Carolina. It'll be out of bounds to the 49ers. Coming back in the game, Jameer Young now. Also back in for the Pirates is DeBoe. Lugie DeBoe replacing Gardner. And it looks like the Niners are going very small. You got DeBoe. Now going against Caleb Stone Carewell, but again, Caleb Stone Carewell, he can really, he can uh, uh, spread out that Charlotte 49er offense. He can knock down that three for being a small forward or being a power forward right now, although he will be defending a seven-footer in the long run. He drives, can't finish though, rebound in the hands of Baruti for East Carolina. Carroll had the open seam, just too hard off the backboard. Now Baruti straight away, three off the iron, no good. Rebound to Young for the 49ers. Now the Niners run out. Shepard in transition, ball stripped away. Niners turn the ball over. Here comes Newton the other way. Newton lobbing it up, taken by Matos, knocked out of bounds by Matos. It'll stay with East Carolina. But uh, that time on the alley-oop lob, they ran into a guy who had some pretty uh, pretty good vertical right there in, in Matos who knocked the ball away. Yeah, Matos able to get up and knock it out of bounds. It looks like we're going to head to a, a, another media timeout here, Matt. Under eight to go, 7.59 left. East Carolina 52, Charlotte 47. Niner basketball from Learfield, IMG College. When you need a new bike or office chair, even a water filter, you go online and look for the best. So, of course, you'd be willing to search high and low for something much more important, like the best health care. But what if you didn't have to? What if there was an award-winning health system close to home? Well, there is. Atrium Health, the only health system in the region nationally ranked by U.S. News and World Report. When it comes to the best for your health, the choice is clear. Learn more at atriumhealth.org slash best. 
Last time on College Sports Now. Talent is talent. I've always hated it that certain players get a million chances to prove to you that they're bad. And then other players have to prove to you they're good over and over and over again. Like, well, I don't know if this is the guy. Then there's some other guy that's a five-star recruit. And he's like in his third year and he's still not any good. People are like, yeah, but just wait. He's got so much talent. It drives me crazy. Follow College Sports Now on Twitter at CSNowTweet. Subscribe to the podcast on your favorite app like TuneIn, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or Spotify. Domino's week-long carry-out deal means you can carry out three topping pizzas for $7.99 each every day. That's right, $7.99 each, and every day means any day. But just in case there's any confusion, we've set up a helpful website to confirm if today's a day you can carry out three topping pizzas for $7.99 each at Domino's. Just go to HowAboutToday.com to find out if Domino's week-long carry-out deal is valid today. Spoiler alert, it is. Carry-out only. You must ask for this limited time offer. Prices, participation, and charges may vary. Excludes extra-large and specialty pizzas. Crust availability varies by size. Seven fifty-nine left to go here at Halton. Right now, East Carolina fifty-two and the Niners forty-seven. It's going to be East Carolina basketball. Twenty-five on the shot clock. And coming out of the timeout huddle, it's Mato, Stone, Carwell, Threadgill, Shepard, and Jameer Young. Rudy will throw it in bounds along the near sideline on the corner. And he gets it to DeBoe with the big seven-footer. Now to Newton. Back to Baruti. Left it goes to Suggs. Driving on Threadgill. Pass to Baruti. And he lays it up and in. Good pass in the lane. And Baruti was all by himself for the two-handed lay-in. And the lead is now seven for the first time today for East Carolina. 7.39 to go. Jameer Young with the basketball. Driving on DeVoe to the basket. Off the glass and in. So it's now 54 to 49. Niners down five. And right now with the Niners, they have DeVoe on the court, and especially with Caleb Stone Carroll. We've already seen that first hesitation move. He's able to get by him. Jameer Young showing the same thing. Anytime you get DeVoe on him, if you can draw him out far when you're on offense, good things will happen on offense. Baruti in the lane, and the ball's going to be knocked away, but a foul reaching in on the 49ers. <laughs> going to be on Matos. Jerry Matos, that'll be his second. On the team, that's three here in the second half. Inbounds baseline right for the Pirates. Newton's going to throw it inbounds. Looking for Baruti. He's not there, so he throws it out top. This is Brandon Suggs. He'll get it to Jackson. Jackson playing with four fouls. Newton now driving baseline under the bucket. Guarded by Young. Throws it back out to Suggs. Spinning on Threadgill. Good defense by Threadgill. The freshman a foul in the back on the missed shot. It's going to be on DeVoe, the seven-footer, trying to get around Stone Carrowell. That'll be his third. Six on the team with still seven minutes to play in the ballgame. The Niners down five. They'll get the basketball right here. Yeah, it looks like they're uh, John Marshall, the strength and condition coach. He's actually working with Milos Supercar. I was just wondering, I was like, why, why, why haven't we seen Milos? And it looks like he's going through some pain in his right knee right now and kind of hobbling over there uh, by the Charlotte 49er bench. Yeah, hopefully nothing too serious. Doc Jones also there as well with uh, John Marshall, our trainer. And now a foul on East Carolina. Shepard to the right elbow trying to work his way around Suggs, who gets called for the personal foul. That'll be his second. And now that's a team foul number seven. It's a one and one coming for the 49ers. Jordan Shepard, 646 to play in the game. The Niners trail by five. It's the right knee they're looking at of Milo Supica. Yeah, walking very gingerly. And like you said, Dr. Jones, as Shep knocks down the front half of that one and one but yeah, him and Dr. Jones, John Marshall taking a look at him but and out here on the court right now the Niners already getting to this bonus which is an absolutely beautiful thing right now for you the Charlotte 49ers. Made the first, missed the second free throw. Niners trail by four. East Carolina with the ball. 6.40 to go. Almost a turnover but uh, the Pirates able to hang on to the basketball. Suggs behind the arc on the left. Pass out top, knocked away by Shep. Loose on the floor. Scrum for the ball. There's going to be a tie-up. No, they're going to call a foul on Machos. Whew. Wow. 
Foul on Jerry Matos of the Niners. They hit the deck going after the loose ball. Matos trying to get his hands on top of it, but he's called for a foul. And that's the, normally the thing that you love about college basketball is whenever you see those young guns just diving on the floor for the for the basketball, and Jerry Matos trying to plead to the ref, and the ref said, no, I don't want to hear any of it. So I guess he's heard of enough of Matos here tonight, but I, I love the play there from Matos, and I love the aggression here from Jordan Shepard as well, able to stick his head in a cookie jar and come out with something. That's the uh, third personal foul on Jerry. And the Pirates inbound to the baseline to get it. Gardner is back in the game. He'll shoot in the lane, miss the shot. Matos make that uh, Stone Carroll with the rebound. They were both down there. Stone Carroll cleared the way. So the Niners right now down four with the ball. 6.17 to go. Shepard on the right. Gives it up to Stone Carrowell. Now to Matos, back out top to Shep. Over to Threngill. He thought about the three, gets it to Jameer Young. He'll drive, lost the dribble, lost the ball. Jackson comes away with it. He'll bring it up ahead for the Pirates. Kick it out to Robinson White. Low, he goes to Gardner, he puts it up and in. He never has the, hand, has the ball in his hands very long. He just quickly gets rid of it almost every time he touches the ball. It is now 56 to 50, East Carolina. Gardner has 10 points. Young on the left, out to Threadgill. Again, thought about a three, didn't take it. Now a drive by Shep, blocked from behind. Baruti blocked him. Baruti comes away with the ball. Niners trail by six, five and a half to go in the game. Big trip down the floor for the Pirates right now. Gardner posting up on the left, backing his man down, spins off the glass, missed the shot, rebound of the Niners. Got a good look, just couldn't finish. Here comes Matos racing up ahead to Threadgill. He'll put it on the floor, kick it out. Matos for three on the right. Around the rim, no good. Rebound, East Carolina. Newton clears it away. Wow, that's a shot that has to go down right there if you're Jerry Matos. And he just smacked himself and probably said some couple choice words to himself as well, going back down the court from left to right. I mean, that's tough, great defense, great offense right there by the Niners. Got the open shot, couldn't hit it. Gardner posting up on the right this time. Puts it up off the glass and he scores. The lead is eight for the first time this afternoon for East Carolina with 4.44 to go. It's 58 to 50 and a timeout is going to be called by Ron Sanchez. 4.40 left to go. 30-second timeout will be stretched to a full. So we'll take it as well. Wait a minute. Is it a full? It is a full. We'll take it as well. 58-50, East Carolina leads. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. Start with a foundation of toughness. Then add exceptional intelligence and dominating power. That's how you build a winner. And that's how Ford builds their lineup of vehicles with features like EcoBoost technology for a winning combination of power and performance. Another reason why Ford is America's best-selling brand 10 years in a row. Leaders aren't born, they're built. And in the Carolinas, they're built for victory. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. Based on 2010 through 2019 California sales. The passion. Oh, 25, first down, 20. 15, 10, 5, 3, 2, 1. The fury. Getting blitz. Down he goes. The speed. Toward the end zone. Got it for six points. You cannot hitch the wagon. Put the ponies in the barn. Over the shoulder. Get 30. 20. This is the college football bliss. Listen on Saturdays this fall on College Sports Now on TuneIn. Carolina personalized orthopedic care goes beyond my appointment. Accessible, comprehensive, and compassionate. It's my care, my way. Schedule your appointment today at orthocarolina.com. The Niners have a strong finish in their game today. They trail by eight with 4.40 to go. It's the season opener for both teams. Charlotte was supposed to play in the Volunteer Classic in Knoxville, Tennessee against the Volunteers on Wednesday and VCU on Thursday. That got canceled, and they quickly scrambled. The administration did a great job to put this uh, little mini tournament together. Well, the Niners will play here today against East Carolina. The Pirates stay and play Belmont Abbey tomorrow. The Niners play Belmont Abbey on Monday. It's the first game of the season for both these teams, and uh, East Carolina is uh, shooting 50% for the, the game from the floor. 
Newton's their leading scorer with 15. Gardner has a dozen. The Niners have three players in double figures, led by Jordan Shepard's 13. It'll be Niner ball, down eight. And Jameer Young throws it in bounds. And uh, Stone Carwell stays in the game during the timeout. They had uh, looked like they were going to put uh, Anzac Rosetto in, but they changed their mind and kept Stone Carwell in the game. He has it out top. Young get go, uh, go over to Young on the left. Adam Matos. Stone Carwell, right elbow jump shot off the back of the iron. No good. Rebound East Carolina. Gardner grabbing, grabbing that with two hands. And now Newton. Into the front court, guarded by Threadgill. A basket here by the Pirates gives them their first uh, double-digit lead of the day. Jackson on the left. And uh, Robinson White guarded by Young. Shot clock at 10, game clock under four now. Rosetto's at the scores table. He'll come in next dead ball. Here's a drive by Newton. Niners take the ball away. Up ahead it goes to Shep. Lost it, gets it back, and he scores. Able to get that ball back after it's stripped away by Robinson White. Niners trail by six. Now it's just about to say, again, you pride yourself on the whole defense aspect of the basketball game. Needs to come up big. As it looks, Jameer Young, he has a shoe off. He's trying to put it back on mid-play. Yeah, he just uh, came out of his right shoe, trying to put it back on. Robinson White drives, finds Jackson on the right for three. No good. Rebound. Charlotte through the hands of Stone Carroll in the hands of Shepard. Niners down six. Big trip up the floor now. 319 to go. Matos with the basketball, guarded by Gardner. Now to Threadgill, top of the key, over to Shepard. Shep on the right side, bounce pass to Matos in the baseline, guarded by Baruti. Try to drive on him, does, gets low, lost the ball, no foul. Looking for a whistle, didn't get it. Here comes East Carolina left to right. Jackson across the timeline. Robinson White now on the right side, looking for Baruti. He'll get it to him. On the baseline, Broody back and Young down. Nowhere to go, spins, good defense by Young, throws it back out of the wing. Shot clock at 12, game clock 2.45 left to go. Niners trail by six. They find Garner down low, lost the ball, gets it back, puts it up in, and he's so tough with the ball, able to score. A lot of contact, no whistle. Eight-point lead again for East Carolina. Yeah, you have to have a double team. I mean, it's been great defense here in the second half for Stone Carewell as it leads to a timeout by the Niners. But you have to, you with seven seconds to go, they get the ball in the low block. He's going to be the one. Jaden Garner's going to be the one to put it up. Have to be able to go and, uh, and double team. Niners didn't, and, and that's the result you got to live with. Garner now with 14 points in the game. Eight-point lead, 2.27 to go. we got our last timeout here in the uh, in the second half. We'll take this break back in a moment. Niners trail by eight. Niner basketball from Learfield IMG. College. 49er fans, for more than two decades, the doctors and staff at University Eye Associates have provided professional care to the Charlotte 49ers. University Eye delivers quality eye care on and off the court. University Eye Associates helps me see the game better, and they will be delighted to help you too. Visit them online at universityeye.net. You and University Eye Associates, that's a slam dunk. Charlotte Basketball is sponsored by Progressive. Drivers who stay with Progressive save over $750 on average. At Great Clips, we want you to feel good about getting a great haircut. That's why we created the Great Care Promise. Our commitment to keeping everyone as safe as possible in the salon. From contactless online check-in and social distancing to rigorous sanitization and mask requirements at all Great Clips locations. We're doing more to keep our salons clean and comfortable. Check in online and get a ready next text when you're next. Great Clips. It's going to be great. All salons are independently owned and operated. Contact your local salon for specific safety measures. This is the College Football Rewind. Sports now. Out of the timeout, Niner basketball, and Matos on the baseline knocks down a mid range jump shot from the left side. It's now a six point game again with 2.12 to go here in regulation. East Carolina leading 60 54. Pirates have the basketball. Robinson White in the left corner dribbles it out. 
Now Baruti right of the key, gives it to Jackson on the wing. Low it goes to Gardner. And Zach Rosetto came in out of the timeout for the Niners. Now a turnover. Niners get the basketball. Jordan Shepard down the floor. Missed the layup, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by East Carolina's Robinson White. Shep on the floating layup attempt. Back rimmed it. It'll stay with the Niners, 151 to go, and they trail by six. Yeah, whenever you're going up for those oh, those contested layups and whenever you feel like you're getting tracked down, you almost look for that contact, and I think Shep thought the contact was going to be there. didn't come, and then almost caught him by surprise. Shep, three-pointer off the rim, no good. He threw it in bounds, got it right back in the deep corner and took a three, but he missed it. 141 to go. East Carolina leads by six with the ball. Robinson White in the front court, guarded by the freshman Threadgill. Now to Jackson, guarded by Shepard. 1.32 to go. Gardner in the lane, bounce pass to Baruti, lost it, but it's in the hands of Newton. Back to Gardner in the lane, blocked by Rosetto, but a foul. And Gardner could have been called for a walk, I thought. He shuffled his feet. Rosetto called for the foul. Asha and Matos. It'll be four now on Jerry Matos. And Gardner gets a couple of free throws at 1.25 to go. And a big miss bucket there, of course, from Shep on the other end, and then almost knocking down that three and redeeming himself. But, I mean, heck, you, you would love to send Garnett to the line, always, although he does knock down the first of two right there. But big basket coming up here for the Charlotte 49ers. Big offensive possession. You, you're going to have to have something clean, something quick, or at least get a three down. Down by, what, eight points with a minute 25 to go? Yeah, Gardner makes both free throws, and now he has a game-high 16 points. He's made seven of 14 shots from the floor and two out of three from the line. He was averaging just under 20 for last season at 23 against the Niners last December. That was at East Carolina. The Pirates won that game at Minjus Coliseum 60-56 on December 22nd. And uh, the Niners in uh, the Queen City here, 10-2 and two all time against the Pirates, but... Right now, it's 125 left, Trevor. The Pirates have an eight-point lead, 62-54. to 54. They called a timeout. Yeah, and you can see the reason, uh, one of the reasons, of course, that they're being able to not exactly pull away. The, the Niners are still in striking distance, but they look like they have a little bit more poise. Six seniors and six juniors. The Niners, you look on the opposite end, they have three seniors, one junior, only a few of those eligible. So, of course, they have nine in underclassmen with four sophomores, five freshmen. It's going to be big right here. A couple freshmen in the ball game right now. Actually, just one of them right now. It's Jackson Threadgill. Niners have the basketball. Threadgill left corner, three, no good. And on the rebound, there's going to be a foul on the 49ers. East Carolina has the ball, 113 to go. And the foul is going to be on Anzac Rosetto this time, his third. Yeah, big opportunity right there for uh, for Jackson Threadgill. Matt Elmas able to knock down that shot. That would have definitely gave the, the Niners a little, bit of, a little bit more momentum and striking distance here with just over a minute to go. In his Charlotte debut, he's 0 for 5 so far. That was the sixth team foul on the Niners, so not a shooting foul. And Robinson White brings it across the timeline for the Pirates. There's 63 seconds to play now. 62-54 East Carolina. Niners not electing a foul right yet, trying to play out this possession. 12 on the shot clock. Now to Newton. Shot clock at 7. Newton driving on Shepard in the lane. Throws it back left. Knocked away in the hands of Robinson White. Three to shoot. Deep three. No good. Rebound. Charlotte Shepard's got it. Here come the Niners down eight. Shep up the floor. Gives it to Young. Now to Threadgill. Right corner three. Got it. Jackson Threadgill makes his first field goal as a 49er. It's a three-pointer with 34.3 seconds to go here in the ball game to make this a five-point game. Pirates 62 and the Niners 57. Yeah, Matt, he wasn't able to think about that with Threadgill. He just had to catch it and shoot it. And so much more in rhythm right there uh, was number 12 again. From David to Dave, three-star, a guy who picked the Charlotte 49ers over a few really big teams, uh, either at the AECC, the SEC, loved seeing him, wanted to stay home. I know that's what Ron Sanchez, Cody Kimball, Vic, Aaron, Fer uh, Coach Fern, I mean, everybody, that's exactly what they're trying to preach, that to stay here in Charlotte. And, and that's a big shot right there uh, uh, from the Charlotte native again. Still something that you have to be able to, to pride yourself on is this defense and being able to, to get a defensive stop right here. You're going to have to foul if you don't get something if you don't get something soon, but we'll see how it goes with that 30-second shot clock. Yeah, they played out the possession the last time, and it worked. They got the rebound and made a shot on the other end. But with 34 seconds to go, 
If you don't get a steal quick, you're going to have to go for the uh, foul. They go for the home run play, and the Niners get a steal. They threw it up the floor to Baruti, and Young stole it. He'll bring it ahead. He'll stop and pop a three, and it's off the rim. No good. Jackson, the rebound. They'll have to foul quickly, and Threadgill reaches in. Boy, that would have made it a one-possession, two-point game, but Jameer Young misses the three. And Young, who was so good from three a year ago, he uh, made 47, shot 37% from behind the arc. Has not made one today over three. Yeah, I mean, I do like that shot. Of course, if he probably would have looked up at the clock and realized that there was still about 30 seconds to go, Matt, he probably would have ended up trying to find an open pass just because ECU, they weren't fully back on defense. A couple guys open in the corner, just had Jackson thread go, knock one down. Shep, of course, has hit huge shots. Of course, one of those dating back to, to WKU, one of the last games of the year, but big free throws right here for Jackson. A one and one, he makes the first. So now it is a six-point game. Still a two-possession game unless he makes this one right here. 24.4 seconds to go. Jackson will bend his knees. The senior from Tifton, Georgia. And he makes the second free throw to make it now a three-possession game. 64-57 East Carolina. 21 seconds to go. Rosetto, he's going to be fouled by Robinson White. And a one-and-one one now coming for Anzac Rosetto. That's uh, team foul number eight on the Pirates here in the second half. There's 18.4 seconds to go. And East Carolina, East Carolina leading 64-57. Man, I feel like he almost definitely trying to make this first one and, and miss the second one if he can. There's the first one. Back rims it. No good. Guard to the rebound. He'll be fouled by Machos, who has fouled out of the game. His first game as a Niner will end with his fifth foul. Matos, 14 points, six rebounds, and a couple of assists in his Niners debut. But he'll be leaving the floor, and Bryce Williams coming in with 17.3 seconds to go. And it looks like East Carolina is going to uh, knock off the Niners for the second year in a row. And Wimp is the third time in 13 tries against the Niners here in Charlotte. And Matt, whenever we were going through some of the, the game notes, as Gardner's at the line, I saw one crazy fact is knocks down the first one the november 27th opener is the latest season opener for the pirates since they lost at charlotte on november 29th is the only previous meeting between the cross state rivals to open up a season so it's back in 1993 they've won like 20 straight home uh, they've won like 20 straight openers as Carter knocks down that one so it's a 66-57 lead for East Carolina. 17 seconds to go. Shepard in the backcourt, guarded by Jackson. He'll bring it ahead. Shepard drives to the basket. Missed the right-handed lamp. He was open. He just, uh, he just went too strong to the rim right there. They kind of let him go, but he couldn't finish it. East Carolina, the rebound. They'll dribble out the clock, and there's the horn, and the uh, opener is in the books. No shaking of hands this season. They just kind of wave at each other as they walk off the floor. And uh, the 49ers in the opener of 2021, they come up short to East Carolina. The Pirates 66, the Niners 57. Our postgame show is coming up next. This is Niner Basketball from Learfield IMG College. It's bow time. <laughs> so it's game time, and you got a bunch of rabid fans. Dad, we're hungry. You head out to fire up burgers and dogs and go from grill master to MVP, but you're at a GAS. Drop a big bow box on it. Game on. Feed a family of four with eight pieces of chicken, biscuits, fixings, and tea for just $19.99. And rep your squad with an official Carolina Panthers Big Bow Box. It's bow time. <laughs> Start with a foundation of toughness, then add exceptional intelligence and dominating power. That's how you build a winner, and that's how Ford builds their lineup of vehicles with features like EcoBoost technology for a winning combination of power and performance. Another reason why Ford is America's best-selling brand 10 years in a row. Leaders aren't born, they're built. And in the Carolinas, they're built for victory. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. Based on 2010 through 2019 California sales. 49er fans, for more than two decades, the doctors and staff at University Eye Associates have provided professional care to the Charlotte 49ers. University Eye delivers quality eye care on and off the court. University Eye Associates helps me see the game better, and they will be delighted to help you too. Visit them online at universityeye.net. You and University Eye Associates, that's a slam dunk. It's back. The 
return of the prestigious Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, honoring college sports excellence across all competitive divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow along with L Directors Cup on Twitter or online to see which schools will be taking home a first place trophy in June for their season-long success. Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, a premier institutional award jointly launched in 1993 by USA Today and NACTA. Network from Learfield IMG College. Welcome to the Harris Teeter Post Game Show. The Harris Teeter Post Game Show is brought to you by Harris Teeter, where 49ers fans shop for groceries. Great clips. It's going to be great. Ford, built for victory, built for the Carolinas. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. Ortho Carolina, you improve. Domino's, the number one delivery of the Charlotte 49ers. Now, let's head back courtside. Hey, welcome back inside of Halton Arena. Well, it wasn't the outcome we were hoping for here today, but uh, happy to have college basketball back, even though the results weren't what we were hoping to see. The Niners dropped the uh, opener here today to East Carolina, 66-57. to That's where I, Trevor, uh, will back with you. And back in the studios, Mario Washington will be joined by uh, Niner head coach Ron Sanchez coming up. And just a little bit for his postgame uh, comments. Uh, you, you think about uh, how hot the Niners had come out here today, just couldn't sustain it. And, uh, you know, give credit for uh, two East Carolina down 10 at one point, 20 to 10. But that middle section of the, of the first half, they came back, took the lead, and. Uh, the Niners could never really pull away from that point. Yeah, they were just the aggressors where ECU in the final, what, 10 minutes at that second half of the first half, I guess you could say. And then, I mean, Charlotte, they did get uh, ECU under 50% from, uh, from the field, but they only shot 38% uh, themselves. And, Matt, whenever you look down, we kind of get a team comparison, guys, where it's ECU on the left, Charlotte on the right. There's nothing really that looks out. I mean, the biggest thing is, of course, is the field goal percentage. Then you look down at points in the paint, 40 to 22. And, again, Having Milos in or out, does that? What does that have to go with? We don't know. Of course, he didn't play the last ten or so minutes uh, here in the second half. So just a lot of things to look at. Of course, uh, whenever you're comparing those and, and bench points as well, 16 to six in favor of ECU. But they're able to bring in juniors and seniors and some bigger sophomores off the bench. And the Niners are coming in with freshmen. Big shots there from Threadgill. We saw a lot of really good defense right there from Caleb Stone Carewell. Not able to uh, get a couple um, easier shots, I guess you could say, for him uh, for a high school standout around here in Charlotte. But, again, it's hey, we're, we're playing basketball, Matt. I think that's the, the big winner of the night. At least that's what we're going to say uh, because uh, the Charlotte 49ers came on the losing end. Also, points to the paint really big here today as well. Uh, East Carolina, 40 of their 66 points coming in the paint. The Niners just 22 of their 57. Five Final score here today, 66-57, East Carolina over the Niners. We'll take a timeout. More of our Harris Cedar Post Game Show. When we come back. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. It's bow time. <laughs> so it's game time, and you got a bunch of rabid fans. Dad, we're hungry. You head out to fire up burgers and dogs and go from grill master to MVP, but you're at a GAS. Drop a big bow box on it. Game on. Feed a family of four with eight pieces of chicken, biscuits, fixings, and tea for just $19.99. And rep your squad with an official Carolina Panthers Big Bow Box. It's bow time. Ah! Hey, Harris Teeter shoppers. It's easy to save on fuel with Harris Teeter's new Fuel Points program. Just use your Vic card every time you shop, and you'll earn one fuel point for every dollar you spend on participating items. For every 100 fuel points you earn, you can save 10 cents per gallon on fuel purchases at any Harris Teeter fuel center and participating BP or Amico location. The more fuel points you earn, the more you can save. Up to $1 per gallon. Terms and conditions apply. Visit HarrisTeeter.com to learn more. The Harris Teeter. Great Clips, we want you to feel good about getting a great haircut. That's why we created the Great Care Promise, our commitment to keeping everyone as safe as possible in the salon. From contactless online check-in and social distancing to rigorous sanitization and mask requirements at all Great Clips locations, we're doing more to keep our salons clean and comfortable. Check in online and get a ready next text when you're next. Great Clips, it's going to be great. All salons are independently owned and operated. Contact your local salon for specific safety measures. 
Ortho Carolina, my personalized orthopedic care feels like home because video visits bring my provider to me. Ortho Carolina, my care, my way. Schedule your in-person or virtual appointment today at orthocarolina.com. Welcome back on the postgame show brought to us by Harris Teeter. We'll be joined by head coach Ron Sanchez coming up this little bit. He's uh, back in the locker room, and we weren't sure, um, you know, what we're going to do postgame with football. Of course, uh, Coach Healy calls into the studio, but uh, Coach Sanchez, we're going to kind of socially distance this. I have a, a headset with a with a long cable that should uh, uh, allow him to safely stay far enough far enough away from us, and he's walking out here now. So uh, it won't be this way every game because certain arenas will have different protocol that we can follow. But uh, uh, here, Coach um, is uh, able to come out, and he's going to grab the headset now, get his uh, post-game comments from this one in, in the opener. And, uh, Coach, thanks for taking some time. I know it's not the outcome you were hoping for, but uh, your thoughts on the afternoon. Um, you know, first of all, I'm, I'm so happy to be back on the, on the floor, you know, um, with these guys th this season. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to start there. Uh, genuinely, genuinely thankful for, um, for the opportunity to, to, to compete today and, and, and really thankful for, you know, um, ECU for thing to um, to come and play us last minute, you know, because this this came about because of a cancellation to the Tennessee game. Um, you know, overall, obviously, um, you know, first first time out, you know, no uh, no 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 scrimmages, no um, you know, no no other experiences, you know, uh, with, with this new group. So um, I expected a lot of mishaps, miscommunication, and, you know, as much as you try until the lights come on and fatigue sets in, you know, you really don't know what you're going to get. So, um, you, know, uh, you know, Jackson has been shooting the ball tremendously well, you know. Uh, um, freshman jitters, maybe. Yeah, no, definitely. And to be honest with you, I actually expected that. Um, I told the staff, I said, we've got, we got to get him in here as soon as possible and get him some shots as soon as possible so we can get him past that, you know, so we can move on. I mean, Caleb Stone, the same thing. And, you know, some of those guys, this, this is their first uh, collegiate experience. So, um, um, you know, one thing I do appreciate about them is how hard they played. Um, and, uh, you know, ECU's got some, um, you know, experienced guys, guys that have been together for a little bit. And you can tell today, you know, the, you know Gardner did, did his part and, you know, did a good part, ha good good job in the first half. And in the second half, he um, kind of ha had his way with some of the younger guys that were guarding him. You know, Milo's getting hurt there for a bit and didn't, hurt, didn't help us at all because yeah. we had to change up what we were doing. So, um, yeah, I mean, overall, happy to be here. Happy to have some footage against another opponent and then, um, you know, growing from here. You know, Gardner can be a tough matchup, and, and he's so big and strong. You, you talked about and, and working against the young guys here today. You did a good job against him in the first half, I thought. We did. We did. Um, you know, the, the, the game plan was working for a bit. Uh, you know, we rotated the right guys on him. Um, but like anything, you know, you, you good, good players find a way to put the ball in the basket. We were trying to shut him down for a bit and, um, you know, did a decent job. Um, in the first half, but just they got to sustain it. You know, we have to sustain it, and, and we didn't do the part on him. But we also, you know, had to way too many turnovers, kind of beat ourselves. Um, and, and some of those led to, you know, other opportunities for them on the other side. Uh, you know, I, I think our defense was okay. You know, we didn't, you know, give up too many points. We didn't, you know, not contest, you know, many shots. We were, we were in there. They made some con some tough shots in the lane, you know, against, yeah, against pressure. Yeah, a few of those, yeah. Yeah, you know, so, um, again, honestly, um, it's great to have some footage versus someone else. Wish we had the victory today, um, you know, so we can have some footage with the victory. But, uh, you know, now we know where we are, and now we can really start growing and attacking some things. Is it too early yet, or do you have a report on, on Milos's knee? Uh, too early. He's been with the trainer right now. I don't know. I think he's just either bruised or, um, you know, I'm hoping it's not that serious. You know, he, 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 he's had a great first half yeah. for us and was showing kind of some of the things that you and I were talking about, about his experience. And, um, you know, obviously, uh, Jerry Matos had a good a good half for us, played yeah. play like an upperclassman at times, and other times still made some mistakes of a new guy because he is new to what we value in our system and gambled a few times at the wrong time. We don't do those kind of things, and they cost us. So, again, you know, sometimes as a coach, you know, you – 
you warn them about what's going to happen if they do certain things, and um, until they get out there, they, they, they test you, you know. So now, um, you know, I'll be able to show them on film, which, you know, like we say in the locker room, film, film doesn't lie. So. And coach, and we, we we of course know that Caleb Stone Carewell is a big name around the Concord, the Charlotte area. Of course, mm -hmm. red shirt and all last year. How good was it for you to be able to to toss him in the ball game? And say, hey, this is everything that we've worked on for now for yep. almost two years. See if your mind right and your body is right. Yeah. We think, I mean, 18 good minutes for him. We feel like mm -hmm. off the bench. No, he did a nice job. He did. Um, you know, unfortunately, you know, he had a tough matchup today. Not, not, it's not. You don't want to. You know, you don't want to be baptized into college basketball by defending a guy who's averaging 19 yeah. in the American Conference, you know. Um, so, uh, you know, he did a decent job, but the, the veteran showed, you know, and we, we wanted to help him and um, at, at, at times he didn't, uh, he didn't really understand how to, how to do that. So uh, maybe that was, you know, a mistake on our part to, to put him on him, but that's, that's who he is. He's a defender and a tough guy, and, um, you know, we needed, we needed him to fill that void for a little bit. Well, we got the first one uh, in the books, and we get to play the game, and now East Carolina is going to uh, supposedly stay here and play Belmont Abbey tomorrow is everything still you hear anything good bad you know honestly I don't know anything right now um, you know the state of college basketball <laughs> you know nothing would surprise me um, I wasn't I was actually telling the staff I said until we are out there and the refs toss the ball I won't know that um, the game is genuinely on you know um, jumping on the bus to to Knoxville and you know arriving there only to find out that the games were canceled that you know um, right Right now, we're holding things loosely, uh, but definitely as a team, approaching this season um, with a spirit of with a spirit of gratitude, and and you know not knowing that this thing, you know, is going to go or when a game is going to get canceled. So we're going to play every game like it's our last. You know, we're going to coach them to the end. Sounds great, Coach. Uh, hopefully, we'll be doing this on Monday night against uh, Bill Abbey, But uh, thanks for your time here today, and uh, we will talk to you again very soon. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, Coach. Okay, bye bye. Hey, Coach Ron Sanchez joining us here in the post game show. The Niners dropped this one today. Final score is 66-57. East Carolina with the win. More of our post game brought to you by Harris Teeter when we come back. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. At Great Clips, we want you to feel good about getting a great haircut. That's why we created the Great Care Promise. Our commitment to keeping everyone as safe as possible in the salon. From contactless online check-in and social distancing to rigorous sanitization and mask requirements at all Great Clips locations. We're doing more to keep our salons clean and comfortable. Check in online and get a ready next text when you're next. Great clips. It's going to be great. All salons are independently owned and operated. Contact your local salon for specific safety measures. Last time on College Sports Now. I, I, I do stay in Elvis, but there's a huge rift. If you're getting like Louisiana Hayride Elvis, that's a lot different than like Jungle Room Elvis. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like when RCA had to bring the recording studio to him, you don't want that. Follow College Sports Now on Twitter at CS Now Tweet. Subscribe to the podcast on your favorite app like TuneIn, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or Spotify. fans, for more than two decades, the doctors and staff at University Eye Associates have provided professional care to the Charlotte 49ers. University Eye delivers quality eye care on and off the court. University Eye Associates helps me see the game better, and they will be delighted to help you too. Visit them online at universityeye.net. You and University Eye Associates, that's a slam dunk. It's bow time. So it's game time, and you got a bunch of rabid fans. Dad, we're hungry. You head out to fire up burgers and dogs and go from grill master to MVP, but you're at a GAS. Drop a big bow box on it. Game on. Feed a family of four with eight pieces of chicken, biscuits, fixings, and tea for just $19.99. And rep your squad with an official Carolina Panthers big bow box. It's bow time. <laughs> Back on the postgame show here at Halton Arena, the Niners dropped the uh, season opener to East Carolina, 66 to 57. It was the 28th meeting all time between ECU and Charlotte. Niners still hold the advantage, but it's now 18 to 10, and now 10 to 3. The Niners uh, having 
now lost three times at home to the Pirates uh, over the years. And now back-to-back -back years, the Pirates uh, also win as they knocked off the Niners uh, in uh, Greenville last year, 60-56. to and this time it's a nine-point win, 66-57. So let's take a, a look now who's going to be our Niner player of the game, brought to us by University I. And uh, how about uh, in his Niner debut, we give it to Jerry Matos, who had uh, 14 points, which was not tops of the team. It was uh, one behind Shepard. But uh, also had six rebounds, made a couple of threes, had a couple of assists, and, uh, you know, did some nice things in his Niners debut. Yeah, he did, and I know that Sanchez, he mentioned, of course, that's just the coach in him saying, yeah, he put his hand in the cookie jar maybe a few a few too, too many times, was trying to go for that, that big INT, but again, still long. I like his charisma that he's got out there on the court. Really love the way, the way that he's able to space the floor and, and be able to kind of knock out that three-point shot. Also able to drive it in as well. And he gives uh, some really good depth uh, to that backcourt there for the Charlotte 49ers with Jameer Young and, and Jordan Shepard as well. But, yeah, I li like what I saw from Jerry Matos in the first game. And, get, hey, came out aggressive, 13 shots for him and knocked down six of them. So the... Uh player of the game is going to be Matos. The play of the game will involve uh, Jordan Shepard. Shepard led the Niners in uh, points with 15. Also had five rebounds today and a couple of assists. He was 6 of 11 from the floor, 1 of 2 uh, from the three-point line. And that 1-3 he made late in the first half is going to be our play of the game brought to us by Atrium Health. Shep on the way, driving to the bucket, up and under, and he scores off the glass. He drove by Robinson White, and the Niners have a three-point lead. with the ball. He'll bring it ahead into the front court. Right-handed dribble, gets a screen from Rosetto, goes left elbow jumper. Good tie game. 30-30 as Shep knocks down the left elbow jump shot. Good screen by Rosetto. And with two and a half to go in this first half, the Niners have tied the game. Oh, yeah, a little bonus uh, from Shep right there, two for one. And that uh, three-pointer is our play of the game brought to you by Atrium Health. Game was tied at 30 at that point. It was 32-32 at halftime. And uh, again in the second half, the uh, Niners just uh, could not uh, get enough going offensively and scored just 25 points in the second half, get outscored 34-25 and lose the game by nine. Uh, but uh, still a good uh, season opening uh, game for Jordan Shepard. Yeah, uh, we, of course we love whenever Jordan Shepard stays aggressive. And uh, of course we're going to be some of his biggest critics as well, being able to watch him so much in practice and only with three turnovers here tonight, again, whenever you expect it to be that first game, you expect maybe uh, for a, a point guard as himself that loves to be flashy, maybe four, five, six turnovers. So love the way that he kept it under that four mark and still with 15 points. But uh, I think Jameer Young's another guy you want to look at as well with 10 points and just three guys reaching double figures. And I think it's going to get better. We, we of course, we, we just look, we looked at each other like, hey, we'd love to be mid-season form right now, but the guys, they're barely in scrimmage form, exhibition form. This is what we feel like we're in, so it's going to be an interesting ride over the first week or two of the season, and we'll see how it all goes from here. Yeah, you know, they didn't have, they usually have a couple of close scrimmages against other programs, and they didn't have that this year because of COVID-19, and uh, just playing, uh, just practicing uh, amongst themselves. So they uh, had some time down, too, when they weren't able to practice right when they were allowed, when, when basketball started, uh, the NCAA has that opening day, and and uh, they were, you know, basically shut down for a couple of weeks. So um, it, it's been a work in progress, and and you have Milo Supa get hurt, not play a lot in the second half. Uh, we did not see Jared Garcia today. Um, so there's a couple of pieces that you know we'll have going forward that uh, we're not able to uh, uh, play much in the second half or at all in the second half uh, for the Niners here today. So it was uh, um, a game that uh, they were hoping to come out on top, but uh, in the end they dropped it by 9, 66, 57. We'll come back with some of the final numbers and some uh, last thoughts as well and then wrap it up here from Halton Arena right after this timeout. This is Charlotte Basketball from Learfield IMG College. <laughs> We're midway through bath time, and two medium, two-topping Domino's pizzas for $5.99 each have become their drive to the Smith's front door. That's a GPS-enabled custom delivery alert, folks. The newest improvement to the Domino's tracker saying Domino's will be there in two minutes. They're calling it audible. Bath time's now rinse time. They've got one kid dry, two kids dry. The pizzas are here. They made it to the door. The kids are cleaning up. The new Domino's tracker with GPS worked again. To add a minimum, pan pizza will be extra. As for this limited time offer, prices, participation, delivery area, and charges may vary. 
at Great Clips, we want you to feel good about getting a great haircut. That's why we created the Great Care Promise, our commitment to keeping everyone as safe as possible in the salon. From contactless online check-in and social distancing to rigorous sanitization and mask requirements at all Great Clips locations, we're doing more to keep our salons clean and comfortable. Check in online and get a ready next text when you're next. Great Clips. It's going to be great. All salons are independently owned and operated. Contact your local salon for specific safety measures. When you need a new bike or office chair, even a water filter, you go online and look for the best. So, of course, you'd be willing to search high and low for something much more important, like the best health care. But what if you didn't have to? What if there was an award-winning health system close to home? Well, there is. Atrium Health. The only health system in the region nationally ranked by U.S. News and World Report. When it comes to the best for your health, the choice is clear. Learn more at atriumhealth.org slash best. Hey, Harris Teeter shoppers. It's easy to save on fuel with Harris Teeter's new Fuel Points program. Just use your VIC card every time you shop, and you'll earn one fuel point for every dollar you spend on participating items. For every 100 fuel points you earn, you can save 10 cents per gallon on fuel purchases at any Harris Teeter fuel center and participating BP or Amico location. The more fuel points you earn, the more you can save. Up to $1 per gallon. Terms and conditions apply. Visit HarrisTeeter.com to learn more. Bye, Harris Teeter. Back inside Halton Arena as we uh, have one last segment here of the Harris Teeter postgame show. Let's look at some of the final numbers in this game. East Carolina shot 49% from the floor, making 28 of 57. Niners 38%, making 20 of 53. The three point line, 13% for East Carolina, 2 of 15. And the Niners 26%, 5 of 19. At the foul line, East Carolina 80%, 8 of 10. Niners 71%, they missed five free throws, making 12 of 17. Turnovers, 10 for the Pirates, 12 for the 49ers. Um, points off turnovers, 8 for the uh, ECU Pirates, and 12 for the Niners. Rebound in the Niners, get out rebounded 34 to 32 in this one. Second chance points, two points apiece. Bench points, 16 to 6, East Carolina. Points to the paint, that's where it's big for East Carolina, 40 of their 66. 22 points in the paint for the 49ers. Leading the way, an 18-point uh, game for Gardner. Uh, Jaden Gardner averaged 19.7 a year ago, scored 18 here today with five rebounds. Newton had 15 and six rebounds, a couple of assists as well. Um, Brandon Suggs, five points. Miles, six points. Uh, DeBoe had six points, did not grab a rebound, the seven-footer. Uh, Jackson, 8.7 rebounds today, the senior. Robinson White didn't score, had one rebound, but had five assists. Baruti, eight points, made a couple of threes, was uh, three of six overall from the floor, four rebounds. And uh, Coleman, the seven-footer from Boston, missed his one shot, no rebounds. Didn't play much at all in the second half. For the Niners, they have three players in double figures, led by Jordan Shepard's 15. Shep had five rebounds and two assists today as well. Uh, Jameer Young had 10 points and uh, five rebounds, three assists. In his uh, Niners debut, Jerry Matos, 14 points, made a couple of threes, had six assists and a couple of assists in the game. Bryce Williams, five points, three rebounds, three assists. Milo Supica uh, didn't play in the second half much, had um, uh, an injury to his right knee and missed most of the second half. Supica, seven points, three rebounds uh, in the game. He was one of five from the floor, five of six from the free throw line. Caleb Stone, Carroll in his Niners debut, was one of four, had three points, and uh, four rebounds today. Also making his Niners debut, Jackson Threadgill. And uh, he had three points, one of six shooting, one of four from the three-point line. A couple of rebounds. And uh, Anzac Rosetto uh, did not take a shot. Had one free throw attempt, missed it, and had one rebound in the game today for the 49ers. So in the end, 66-57, East Carolina wins. The Pirates now 1-0 on the year. Niners dropped to 0-1. And, and this was... Uh, a little mini tournament put together where these two teams played today. East Carolina to stay in town and play Belmont Abbey tomorrow.
And then they'll be done. They'll head back to Greenville. The Niners will play Belmont Abbey in a game on Monday night, which is game two of a doubleheader as the Niner women, who dropped their opener at uh, App State. Uh, the Niner women will be playing Clemson uh, in the game uh, prior to the Niners game against uh, Belmont Abbey on Monday afternoon. So that's if you know Belmont Abbey is good to go for tomorrow. Knock on wood, they will be. We'll be able to not just play that game, but also the Niners game against Belmont on Monday. Yeah, and again, again, big props to the Charlotte 49ers Athletic Department. It was kind of cool, Matt, where well, I guess it wasn't cool that we were uh, traveling back home from Tennessee after just getting down to Knoxville and getting uh, some dang good barbecue, I can tell you that. But uh, literally on the way back, we were, it was cool. just kind of seeing the behind the scenes with Chris Fuller, Mike Hill, Ron Sanchez, and them like, hey, let's put the, let's put something together. Uh, our, our fans deserve it. I know basketball, and of course, you're the voice uh, of the Niners when it comes to football as well. And you guys have been through so much, and uh, the, the Niner, Niner Nation's been through so much. Uh, just as just as fans, so it's it's so good to be able to bring uh, just a production.